back. I hope you have been enjoying uh, the VODs so far. The, um, uh, the, uh, the playbacks, or not the playbacks, but the, uh, the ongoing Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 3 series that we've been streaming here. Um, if you have been enjoying, or if this is your first time, definitely make sure to uh, give this video a like. That way I know you're enjoying it. And uh, give it a, you know, leave a comment. Uh, and, of course, always check out all the other content on my channel. I have a complete playthrough. I have two other chapters of uh, uh, the, the last two chapters of Sim Settlements 2. I got playlists. They should be linked somewhere near the top of my, um, on my main page. Go ahead and uh, watch those. That way you can get all caught up if you have not. If you have, continue enjoying the playthrough. Um, and, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that typical YouTube stuff. Check the descriptions down below. It's got a link to chapter, uh, Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 3 or just the full Sim Settlements 2 as it is now known. As well as links to all my socials, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Tumblr, and most importantly, the Discord channel. Join the Discord channel. It's super awesome. Uh, it's where all the cool, awesome, fantastic people uh, who, you know, enjoy my content, uh, enjoy my uh, my commentary, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's where we all hang out. It's super dope, super awesome. Um, for now, you do that, and good. <laughs> all right. So, what did we do in the last stream? In the last stream, Excuse me. Um, so not that one. Not that one. Good. All right. So let's see. We'll give uh we'll give other people a uh, little bit to start filing in here. Usually takes a second or two. And in the meantime, I can enjoy the waffle breakfast I got for myself. More waffles, bacon, and eggs. The breakfast DJ beans. Hello, Crotan. How are you doing? Mm. Hey, yo, what up, C? C, Psy, Virus. I just call you Virus. Because uh, I don't know how to... We've been over this. Canonically, I don't know how to read. <laughs> in real life, it fucking took me a little bit. I was in one of them special classes in, uh, in, uh, in middle school and high school. Not the, like, you know, you got to take the short bus classes, but, like, one of them catch-up reading classes. You have right. See? Sigh? Sit. Sick. 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 <laughs> uh, sigh virus. I'm good, just had dinner, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we got into the stream a little bit later than I would have liked, uh, but like just what, 10 minutes? Um, but I had, uh, had some other stuff to do for preparation for my, uh, my, my work stuff um, that I should hopefully be starting next week. I just gotta finish up a couple more things and then uh, with any luck, we will be off to the races. And with any luck, we will be uh, we will be finished up with uh, Sim Settlements Two, Chapter Three, by that time as well. Because I would hate to start my new job and then just kind of leave you guys hanging. <laughs> wait for uh, wait till the fucking weekends uh, before I can actually like properly stream, which you know. Would probably be ideal because then I can focus on uh, content creation again, make videos and whatnot. But you know, it would still be a uh, it would still be a bummer to have to leave you guys waiting. And especially now, since we're so close to getting to the end, I can feel it in my bones. Sigh is for sci-fi virus because it's fun. I kind of I kind of thought that that's what it was uh, what it was short for. Um, but you know what they say about assum assumptivizing? It's the incorrect word to use in that situation. <laughs> um, so, what did we do in the last stream? In the last stream, 
we, um, what did, yeah, fuck, what did we do? Uh, we redid the stuff with Atomic Rain. Uh, we went and did the quest with Berman. Um, well, the Atomic Rain stuff, uh, we went and we got told by Magnuson, uh, the guy who invented the ASAMs, that, um, uh, he had information or, uh, suggested that we would be able to access some sort of satellite weapon that would allow us to basically fucking launch orbital bombardments, uh, down on the gunner forces in order to take them out, which, super cool, way into that. Um, and in order to do that, we had to go to a couple of old, uh, haunts that he frequented, uh, because he couldn't remember where the, where the, uh, where the stuff, or where the component that he required, uh, was kept, and so we went to a couple of locations in Boston, found out that the name that he was remembering, St. James, was actually not a church or a hospital or anything like that. Um, hello, Azriel, how are you doing? Um, so St. James wasn't a church or a hospital or anything like that. It was actually a person, a previous girlfriend of his from before the war, Madison St. James, who also happened to work for Vault Tech, specifically working on Vault 111 along with Magnuson because he had plans on freezing himself, but then he learned what Vault Tech was up to and was all like, fuck that shit. Um, but under his cryopod, uh, there was a secret hatch in order to access a secret room, or sorry, a lower level of the vault that, uh, he kept a holotape in, and that holotape was what he needed. Um, thanks for subscribing, Dean B. What a Chad, what an epic legend. Unbelievable, unimaginable, huge, huge. <laughs> been, been better, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh... Son family. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, but uh, thank you for the thank you for the subscription there. Once again, absolute chattery. Um, hello, bald killer. How are you? Uh, thank you, Eddie Ombeck. I believe that's that's what that said. Um, thank you for subscribing. Absolute absolute mad lad. Um, so uh, we went down to this lower part of the vault, got a hollow tape. Thank you for subscribing. Rome is falling. <laughs> Very historical name. Um, so we went down to the vault, got this, uh, got this holotape, and then we went back up out of the vault and couldn't get a contact with Magnuson. Um, Borg Coton, thank you for subscribing. Um, so that is currently standing until Magnuson can get a hold of us again. Um, I'm not sure when that's supposed to happen, but I believe it is going to uh, pick up eventually at some point um good thanks it's blade killer by the way oh it is yeah that's an ald <sighs> said it before i'll say it again i don't know how to read <laughs> be easy on me please my poor supple little brain <laughs> bald killer and, like, I recognize the three as an E, too, so I don't know what my brain was doing there. Just kind of turned off the e, turned off the E, I suppose. Um, but, so, uh, so that's where that stands with the Atomic Rain stuff. We have the holotape that he needed, but for some reason he's not, uh, he's not talking to us over the radio. Um, besides that, though, we did get a, uh, a notification, or... We got uh, another radio broadcast that was from uh, a mysterious woman. We didn't know her, but uh, we could hear Berman uh, from Chapter Two um, in the uh, in the background of this radio transmission. So he's still alive, um, assuming that you let him live by the end of Chapter Two. But we went and helped them. Uh, it turned out that the woman was uh, Caitlin, who is Jake's ex-wife, and <coughs> she was. Uh, taken captive by the gunners, sent to Jake to deliver a message. Uh, they got there, or we all went back to the HQ. We talked about things. Uh, we heard the holotape, which was a message from uh, this woman named Lamont, who is the current head of the gunners. And we found out that they want, I, I forget what the name of the part was, uh, but they want a specific part of the comma ray. Um, 
for, again, I forget which part it was, but they want that, and in exchange for that part, they will not only end the war, but more importantly, they will allow Jake's daughter to live, because they captured both Jake's daughter and his wife, they let the wife live, well, they let the wife go and deliver the message to, um, to Jake, and so Jake is now sort of mulling over, like, ah, oh, do I give him the part, do I, do I put the... Do I put the uh, the good of the people who are now like, you know, relying on the on the ASAM tech? Like, do I put them at greater risk uh, for the sake of my daughter and stuff like that? Um, and we experienced one of, if not the best and most well choreographed uh, scene in uh, any Fallout mod that I've seen to date. The acting was spectacular. The pacing and timing were fantastic. <coughs> And it was just overall a very good scene. Uh, so Jake is currently mulling over, like, you know, what are we going to do about that? Uh, we learned from Berman that Lamont actually has a wasting disease, so it is killing her. What the disease is, we don't know. But uh, we talked to Cassandra, our chief medical expert, and she said, hey, go around to these different locations, get some pre-war uh, medical information, that way I have something to compare it to. And then we can try to surmise a, uh, a cure because Lamont is actually a former child super soldier from Vault 75, I believe. Hello, Bomber. Um, but she is a former child super soldier, again, I believe from Vault 75. I could be incorrect on the number, but the, the vault where, uh, where all those kids were being trained to be, you know, super soldiers and shit. So, um, you know, she escaped from that. She is currently 25 i think i think they said and that's ab about where her life expectancy was expected to end because of all the genetic testing and genetic breeding and stuff that uh she was sub subjected to um and when we went and got that medical data and compared it to her own we found out that or we basically discovered you know not a cure for for her disease but a, a way to make it so that she actually is able to live a full life Go, like doubling her life expectancy to around 50 which you can debate for yourselves about whether that's a full life or not but in the wasteland living past 30 is a fucking miracle <laughs> so that is pretty much where we stand now um from what i recall um quest wise from what i've been told the next quest um i don't remember the name of it but the next quest will pop up at some point when we're taking uh, settlements back from the Gunners. Um, I have taken two or three locations back from the Gunners uh, off screen. And so far nothing has popped up yet. I'm not exactly sure how much we're actually supposed to clear, but we're starting to quickly <laughs> run, out of, uh, run out of space to, to take back. So, we'll see what happens. We'll, we're we're going to spend the first little bit of this stream, hopefully not too long, um, taking back locations, and hopefully we'll get a notification to start uh, start the next part of the quest. So, let's load in here. Um, yes, I left off uh, at the castle looking towards Spectacle Island because that is the next target. And... What was it? Uh, Somerville Place, um, which is where we left off, where we crashed uh, yesterday. I don't quite know why, but that <laughs> trying to take that location was very, very difficult. I don't exactly know why. I think there might have been some pathing issues with the um, uh, with my soldiers, because, you know, besides the fact that there were a lot of gunners there, there were a lot of gunners at that location. Um, for some reason, they didn't see, they, like, they weren't really, oh, okay, we're gonna crash to desktop, that's also cool. Um, hopefully that does not continue to happen. Um, but, yeah, for, for whatever reason, taking Somerville Place was just very very difficult i i tried taking it like i think three four times and in the end i just had to concede and just you know fucking turn on god mode um yeah it was just 
really, really tricky to actually take that location, and I'm not 100% sure why. Um, it's, hmm. Okay, let me check this real quick. Uh, so pull that down. Good. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know why it was so difficult to take that location. Um, but it, it was, it was a challenge. Um, but we did it. I cheated a little bit. Um, but we did it. We took that back. And then, as I said, I took like two or three other locations. So we're doing solid. I'm just hoping that the quest actually pops up. Let's try this one and not the exit save. How's everybody else been though? How's everybody how's everybody how did everybody's evening go and the subsequent days depending on uh where where you're located? Mm. Waffles. I love the concept behind Lamont. It's so cool. Her, like, <laughs> we haven't really, you know, interacted with her all that much, but her, uh, her backstory and, uh, and, and situation and stuff is pretty cool. I was wondering and sort of hoping that, um, that Sim Settlements 2 was going to incorporate, uh, the, the child soldier vault, uh, in some form or fashion, because that was, uh, the theory that that's where the gunners came from was a, big one and still is a pretty big uh uh like group consensus when it comes to uh when it comes to fallout history because like it's just kind of this location right that um uh is is you know uh what is it um it's this location that is a lot of environmental storytelling and not a whole lot of answers, like concrete answers. And at the same time, you have this faction, the Gunners, that are practically just an unknown and a very well-equipped unknown at that. And it's like, where did these come from? Like, where did this these guys come from? And then you just start, like, connecting bits of red string, and then it's like, bruh, I figured it out. The gunners are from fucking Vault 75. They're the child soldiers. Bruh. <laughs> Especially when you take into account that um in the in the details of Vault 75, I think it mentions like either like two or like a small group of kids were actually able to escape. Um I hope that after you're done with Chapter 3, if sometime in the future you'll do a Fallout 4 playthrough from the beginning uh, with Tales of the Commonwealth and its mod and its modules using SS2 and just play through it, uh, encountering the quests and everything naturally as you play through the main game. I haven't, like, because I've had a couple people mention uh, Tales of the Commonwealth to me, um... I've, like, opened it every once in a while, but I've never, like, really dug into it, like, what the, uh, you know, like, what the, the, the mod is about and stuff. I know that it adds a bunch of, like, quests and story stuff, but, like, I don't know, like, you know, really, like, what does it properly add, you know, besides that, um, uh, that rate, or, I think there was a radio, uh, a radio channel, and then there was, like, an add-on that adds, like, uh, new settlers or something like that. But I would be interested to uh, to check that out if it if it evolves the main story of Fallout Four in the in a uh, in a similar way that um, that Sim Settlements Two Chapter or Sim Settlements Two in general did. Um, I'd probably be way into it. 
Because anything that feels like it naturally evolves the uh, the base game, tonally, storily, storal <laughs> um, you know, stuff like that, I'm way into that. I love the fucking, like, like Fallout 4 Plus kind of feeling, you know? Tales of the Commonwealth is done by the same group that did interesting NPCs for Skyrim, and it functions just like that. Uh, it's not a big overarching story, but meeting interesting people. Okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah. And doing quests for them, but it isn't a big grant. Uh, it isn't this big, uh, grant. Uh, th th it isn't big and grand. It isn't trying to be. Uh, it's meant to be interesting people to come you come across. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I, I I'll, I'll probably I'll probably look a little bit more uh, a little bit more serious into that because like anything that adds like additional like unique NPCs that feel like they belong in the world, I'm into that. And that's why I have uh, the recruitable the recruitable settlers mod. It is just a vanilla plus mod. Really cool mod. All right. Bet. I'll check it out. Somebody, I 100% will be able to find it on my own, but if somebody wants to, they can link it in the uh, in the mod section of the Discord channel. Hmm. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned at all. I wanted to jump and then land in the water. Son of a bitch. You fucking stone bastard. Alright. Here we go. What up, Shadow Man? Doing it now. Thanks, Blade. Um, welcome, Shadow Man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <coughs> um, we were talking a little bit about uh, the, uh, the stuff I did off-screen. I think I captured... Well, one... Taking uh, taking Somerville Place was, for whatever reason, super hard. I think there was, like, some pathing issues. Uh, and and or it seemed like there was just a lot of gunners there. Like, a, like an unreasonable amount. I don't know if that was me. I don't know if that was a bug. Um, but it, like, it, it was, like, I did have to eventually use uh, TGM in order to finish it. Um, besides that, I think we've taken two or three other locations. Let me hop up here real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I took back Somerville Place and then Murkwater. Oh, I didn't do, I didn't do that. But yeah, as far as I can tell, uh, like this park, Quincy, Poseidon Energy, this peninsula here, the island, and I th think that's about it as far as locations that the gunners currently control. I haven't seen them taking any new locations. Um, yeah, I'm looking through here, trying to see if I can find other gunner, uh, gunner controlled territory, and I think that that's like this. Uh, southeastern section of the map is the only area we have left to liberate. Bridwin main deck. Oh, that's a mod. Nice. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're good there. Um, how many, because you said that in order to continue the, uh, the main story, we just got to keep taking gunner locations. How many did it take for you to pop up? I just want to make sure that it's not, uh, it's not busted and we gotta, we gotta advance it, uh, in some way. We were also talking about, um, uh, what was it? Tales of the Commonwealth? Yeah, Tales of the Commonwealth. Which sounds pretty dope. Let me do this real quick. Um... That would mm, that's what they strive for, just like uh, SS2, their NPCs feel like they exist in the Fallout world. They don't fall into the pitfall of making uh making behave like someone 
making NPCs behave like someone you would meet nowadays. Okay, very good. I want to say three or four. Okay, so we should be getting pretty close to being able to advance the quest then, because we've taken about uh, two, three locations. So, let me do this real quick. Um, unarmed. Nobody goes unarmed. Not in Fallout 4. Um, we'll do engineering. Okay. Dope. Let's see if we can pull this shit off. Because, from what I remember, because I took, I took, uh, Spectacle Island back in a different timeline, and I can't remember where the flag was. I don't think I ever saw the flag. I think I saw, I think I, yep, there's Gunner. Oh, come on, I saw you. Okay, maybe, maybe I didn't see him. Maybe I'm just seeing things in the fog, and I'm actually going insane. God, wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that just be the dream? To just go insane? <laughs> A mini nuke. Bruh. Don't touch it. It's gonna explode. And kill us all. Alright. Here. Here. This is gonna be a cool battle. Here we go. I really like that, um, I, I don't know if they're supposed to go along this patrol line, but I really like that we can, like, hide in this, in this fucking, like, burnt-out house and just kind of, like, spy on them, you know? <laughs> Alright, we got them marked. Can't even see the fucking flare. Just sit here and stand watch. Keep an eye on these fucking gunners. These sense of bitches. They'll never take the Commonwealth. Ooh. Almost. Almost walked over the edge there. Once the boys show up, we're gonna snipe the fuck out of these guys. Like I said it before, I wasn't 100% sure about the, uh, the RTS as aspect. Like, doing all this battle shit. Um, uh, but I gotta say, I, I'm, I'm warming up, I warmed up to it real quickly. I really like this. This feels real natural and real fun. Except when, for some reason, it's just super hard to take a location. I don't know what that's about. But, there's probably a system where I can update. Somebody said you could, uh, up, upgrade your soldiers to have power armor. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe I just need to do a little bit more advancing on that front, but in either outcome, it's still real fun. Let me grab. Mm. Had to get a mouthful of eggs. Here they are. Alright, boys. It's rainy. It's foggy. I can't see shit. You're probably going to be doing 90% of the killing. But let's get Kellen. Can I see him? I don't see him. Yep, they did a real good job with the system. They really did. Like, I, you know, what I was expecting was, let me, let me go on a little tangent here. What I was expecting, oh, is that, let me switch over there. Sorry, hold on, let me check that. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why that did that. Um, so what I was expecting was was what I was expecting when they talked about uh, the RTS and like doing like actual land battles and shit like that. What I was expecting to happen for me because I didn't expect it to be bad because Sim Settlements Two has not put out anything that's like been bad so far, right? Um, what I was expecting is for for uh for me to go into it and be like oh like you know i can recognize that this is well done i can recognize that it's very well implemented but it's just not something that to me feels uh feels like you know enjoyable or natural um the reference point i can use is for for me anyway this is, this is my own opinion 
uh, tank combat in the frontier. The frontier. I feel like the tank functionalities were implemented well. I just didn't feel as if tank combat in Fallout New Vegas felt natural. Like it didn't feel fun. It did like it felt like it was out of place. You know, I don't know if there was a way that that could have been altered to where it did feel better or not as out of place. I don't know if just maybe just I don't like tank combat or whether it just wasn't properly implemented in a like realistic and enjoyable way, realistic and or unenjoyable way in the frontier or, you know, it like it could have been a multitude of factors. All I know is I did not enjoy tank combat in the frontier and I was expecting when I when when I heard about that they were going to be doing RTS, uh, you know, combat and shit like that, that's kind of what I went in uh, expecting and anticipating. Like, you know, again, like, oh, it's Sim Settlements too. It's going to be implemented really well. Uh, you know, it's going it, to like there's not going to be any like massive issues with it. I just don't know if I personally am going to enjoy it. And like, even up until um, doing the uh, the mission where we attack. Um, uh, Igratoris and take that back. I'm still like, man, I, mm, I, I don't know. Like, I, mm, I get it. It seems a little, little confusing. But then after you take like two, three different locations and like start to start to get a feel for how the rhythm of combat goes, how the rhythm of approaching a location, uh, sneaking around, spotting a location, uh, or spotting like uh, the flag or uh, a, a passing troop. You know, any, any. All of, you know, any of those metrics um, and then like popping the flare, waiting for your soldiers to show up and then attacking all these dudes in this big, you know, huge fight thing. Like you do that a couple times and it's like, all right, I get it. I feel the flow. It feels real good. I'm enjoying this. So I <laughs> I, I can easily admit I was I was wrong and fucking Sim Settlements 2 pulled it off. They, they, they did the impossible and made me like, uh, <laughs> they did the impossible and made me enjoy FPS RTS, uh, combat. <laughs> oh boy. Well done. Very good. I get what you're saying. I think, uh, that is why they expanded on the Minutemen flare gun, which gives it that feel that it should be in game. Yeah. Yeah, and the, uh, you know, I I do think that there is a little bit of uh, uh, a confusion and maybe a little bit of additional work that could be done on the uh, the HQ side of combat, like recruiting soldiers, uh, advancing their, uh, their armor and weaponry, uh, assigning them specific roles and tasks and stuff like that. Um, I feel like there could be more work done there, but at the same time, I haven't interacted with that part as much as I have with the actual like execution of of warfare side of it. Um, I feel like if I went back into it and messed around with it a little bit, I would have the same feeling. Uh, I would have the same progression of change of mindset that I did with the HQ when the HQ first dropped. I was like, oh, this seems a little bit complicated. I, I feel like this is going to turn some people off. And I think it did. And I think the team responded to that very well and, you know, made necessary changes. Um, in the last stream, I actually I accidentally went down to this one level that's like just NPC housing, you know, like employee housing and stuff like that. And that wasn't there the first time I played it, or at the very least, I hadn't unlocked it. But it it just it just makes it easier because then you can hire more people and it feels like stuff gets done faster and more effectively. Um with that in mind, though, it did get better and it did feel more natural and understandable. And when I went in to prepare for chapter three, I revisit I had to revisit the HQ stuff and, you know, I turned on God mode, God mode and stuff like that. And then that allowed me to actually get in, like remove any time, you know, like waiting periods and just like knock stuff out. And then I start to understand like, oh, OK, so first I do this actually clear out a room and then I can set what I want that room to be and then I can do upgrades for that room so that it functions more effectively or gives me more bonuses or gives me like it's like unique special things 
uh, like the armor, the the armory and the weapon, uh, uh, the weapon bench and the chemistry thing, um, which actually isn't something that I've talked about on stream. There's like an actual like HQ armory and an HQ like weapons smith and stuff like that. But they're like HQ specific workbenches. And I don't quite understand what the benefits of those are. But at the same time, I have I kind of I kind of sped through there. Um, but uh, that is something uh, that is something I'm a little confused about. But just like with the HQ system, where at first I was like, eh, I don't know about this. I got to I utilized it a little bit more and it felt a lot better uh, as time went on. And I'm having the exact same experience with uh, with all the, the aspects of warfare. Um, hello, Lichtenstein fan. How are you doing? I'm new. Fantastic. Welcome to the stream. We are streaming um, uh, near the we, well, we are streaming Sim Settlements uh, uh, Fallout 4 Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 3 mod. And we are somewhere closer to the end game. So if you've been meaning to uh, meaning to play uh, Sim Settlements two, uh, or if you've been uh, if you haven't had the opportunity to get into Chapter three yet, and you don't want any spoilers or anything, just be aware this stream might not be the one for you because we are dealing uh, we are going to be dealing with spoilers, and that's the you know the end of the game, uh, the end of the game and stuff like that. So you know, just be aware of that. Mm. Also, hey, you can spell my name. Some can't. I would not be able to spell your name if I wasn't looking at it. I can pronounce your name, though. Lichtenstein. And the reason I can do that is because I watched A Knight's Tale back in the early 2000s. That movie was fucking fire. Good shit. Um... KG did say that he will be working on expanding the tutorials of the system, uh, so to make it clear what needs to be done uh, and how to use them, but that will come later. Makes sense. Uh, as it is more important to fix bugs uh, that are story breaking, uh, which I completely agree. Oh no, yeah, absolutely. Like that, like making the system easier to understand is probably you know a priority but it's not the absolute priority that is making sure that all the quest elements uh fit and uh, and work properly because as much as i push back against the people who are all like oh i wish i could play some settlements too without having to do all the settlement shit and it's like <laughs> it it's it's like what the fuck like why like you, you like you get what you paid for in this situation paid for but at the same time, people aren't coming into Sim Settlements too for the uh, the advanced and the expanded mechanics. You know, like that's not the draw. The story is the draw, <coughs> and maybe this, maybe the settlement building stuff. But to the point, uh, the story stuff is is the priority right now. Um, can you set the gear? Uh, can you set the gear? Uh, for your settlers before this, or should you just improve it in app? Um, the gear for your settlers, I would if you're if you're talking about like just the actual settlement stuff, I'm pretty sure that you can still like go in there and update it yourself. You know, like go in there and give your settlers, uh, you know, their own weapons and armor that you personally give them. Um, I do not believe that your settler settlers will actually upgrade and better equip themselves. Uh, your soldiers, on the other hand, you can go in and uh, go into the like the settings and stuff, not the settings of like a holotape or anything, but the settings at like an HQ uh, or an outpost. And you can upgrade uh, so that they have better armors and armor and weapons and stuff. Um, fun Liechtenstein fact. Liechtenstein is only 25 uh, kilometers long. Oh, you're talking to an American. I don't know what a fucking kilometer is. What the fuck is a kilometer? <laughs> uh, let me ask Google here. How long is 25 kilometers in miles? 25 kilometers is equivalent to 15.534 miles. 15 miles? Bro, you live in a tiny country. <laughs> Made the rain for a thousand years, though. Uh, what I would like to see is an option to skill... Skill the tutorials. Oh, skip the tutorial segment 
uh, for those who have played Sim Settlements 2 before and are replaying. Yeah, there's, like, one quest where, um, uh, for, like, the HQ, where it's, like, just a tutorial quest. And it's like, yes, that would be nice to skip. Um, pro you know, probably put that on the, uh, the cork board, though. Hello, Realm. Just put gear in the workbench, and they will use it. Oh, oh, yeah, that does make sense. Just, yeah, put in the, put in the tool bench, and they'll, they'll equip it, uh, themselves. Um, that would be the loadouts if you're talking to your, talking to your army of some settlement, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, One mile is 2.1 kilometers. <laughs> Whatever. All I know is either the metric system or, uh, the imperial system has to go. I don't, I don't, I don't care to, I don't care to learn both these two things. <laughs> Settlers will buy better guns um, if there is a weapon store, I believe, but if there is a weapon workshop as well. Oh, like is that the HQ thing or is that the settlement thing? Never mind that. Let's let's just get into the let's get into the fighting. We got a quest to advance. We got sneaking to be. Oh my god, they got to the other side of this island right fucking quick. They moved with the haste. Yunk. 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 Oh. Hmm? Fuck, I lost him in the hill. out oh god hm. where are they at oh god Ooh, there's one Jesus. Hm. oh jeez get him aha hm. got him now, if only I could see literally anybody else. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. None of, none of that now. Where you think you're going? Wait, what is over here? Oh, there you are. Fuck. Oh, damn it. I hope my guys are still up. Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> Settlement, okay. Another fun fact, Liechtenstein uh, has uh, 39,039 uh, people living uh, within it and is the sixth smallest country in the world. Wow, damn. I wonder what the first smallest country in the world is. You can trade weapons uh, to the weapon store uh, that you find in your travels and the settlers will buy them. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we gotta wait for the guys to pop back up. Capture Spectacle Island. Oh, sorry, conquer Spectacle Island. Kill him! Don't let him escape. Well, don't say that. Because they're definitely something. The smallest country is Vatican City. Oh, yeah, I suppose that does make sense. <laughs> I don't know how I could forget about the Vatican. I actually fucking learned about, uh... Whoa. Oh, fuck the crabs! Oh, come on, I shot you. Oh, god damn it. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I accidentally opened up the fucking... Loot menu. God damn it. <laughs> that fucking crab came out of nowhere. And where were all my boys? What the fuck? Also, uh, KG was saying that he will be looking at making it so you can stim pack your soldiers uh, that go down during battles. Okay. That makes sense. That's dope. What is the largest country? If you're talking about Population, I believe that would be China. If you're talking about uh, landmass, that's Russia. Get him up. Oh. Shit, I think we crashed. Yeah, we crashed. <laughs> uh, son of a bitch. All right. Hey, 
Here we go again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure the most des densely populated country is China. Nope, sorry. It's India. The largest by land mass is Russia. Gotta love Bethesda games. Well, you gotta remember I'm modding, so that could have been any number of things. Especially with Sim Settlements 2, which adds all this, like, new and extra stuff, you know? There's a lot of moving cogs in this train. Every once in a while, something breaks. And we just gotta try to ensure that it doesn't break too often. Modding will cause your shit to break. Like, it's just inevitable. How often depends on, uh, depends on how good of a modder you are, or how good you are at managing your load order. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. I was literally just about to say, watch it, CTD. Bloop. Okay. Fun fact number three, Liechtenstein is the last country uh, that was in the Holy Roman Empire and still exists. Oh, <laughs> you, you survived the longest. So true, but it makes it so fun. It really does. That's why I only use some settlements mods now. Took everything else out. I mean, you can definitely add more stuff. You just got to make sure you're, like, taking care of stuff on the back end. Like, you know, the Fallout 4 unofficial patch, uh, buff out, Baka script extent, or buff, uh, no. Buff. Was it buff out for? Uh, and then, like, you know, stuff like Baka script extender. Things like that, like, uh, what was it FPS boost? Um, uh, some some other one I can't remember. There's a lot of like bug fix, bug fixes and like utility stuff. That's almost a must at this point. And then the rest are just like, you know, quality of life things like, uh, uh, like NACX and um, uh, the better dialogue box stuff. Okay, let's see if this is going to crash. Because we know they're safe and corrupted. So it's just like a roll of the dice. Hmm. <laughs> Love bacon. All right. That's a bummer. We're going to have to load back just slightly. Liechtenstein is one of the few countries in Europe, along with Monaco and San Marino, not to have a tax treaty with the United States. Interesting. Um, you here. Sausage better than bacon. How actually dare you? I will find you, and we will settle this like men. Shirtless in the... Fucking Walmart parking lot on the hottest day of the summer. That's how real men settle their disagreements. 
Walmart parking lot brawls in the middle of the summer. Alright. Let's try loading the other save back. I'm gonna be very sad if this one doesn't work. Not very sad, because it hasn't been that long, but still gonna be a bummer. Plus, you can find a lot of mods uh, that help make it run better with less crashes, especially if you're on uh, PC and use F4SE. Exactly. The script extender is wildly successful. Okay. We are back in. Let me switch that, and then we'll do that, and then we'll turn you guys off, and then we'll do this once again. Mmm, brunch. Brunch indeed. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, the only thing missing is some fruit, but I don't currently have any, like, breakfasty early morning fruits, you know? Actually, now that I think about it, I don't have any fruit. I need to get some fruit. I'm trying to grow s fucking strawberries. Oh, damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to grow strawberries in the back, but the fucking squirrels keep eating them. Are they fighting the crabs? I think they're fighting the crabs. I, think I might have to upgrade from leather armor to, uh, uh, to combat armor. Because I don't know why, but you'll, you'll see it here in a minute. This weird glitch happens whenever I wear leather armor and use, like, specific weapons. A lot of them are creation club weapons. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why that happens. With leather armor specifically. Go get them, boys. Fuck them up. They're going. There, there, there. Whoa. Where are you going now? You guys don't even know where you're... Oh, was there a crab? Oh, God. We definitely want to get on the other side of this hill. Give us the best strategic advantage. Whoa, Jesus Christ! That actually fucking scared me. Stupid ass fucking crabs. <laughs> fucking Fallout 4 jump scare. Holy shit. Alright, pick him up. There you go. Okay, he's up. Let's give everybody a second to not be on fire anymore. Oh, God. Stupid fucking crab. Go get him, gamers. I will provide assistance from the back end as I am a sniping man. Oh, I see you. I see you. Wait, where'd you go? I don't see him. Oh, shit. Hold still. There we go. Oh, there he is. Got him. That was some luck. There we go. We did it. We have won the Island Forest Combat Theater. Whoop. Oh, we still got the bugs, though. Oh, God. Help. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna be sick. Might be, a me might be a mesh that is funky. Probably. This is why scurvy is on the rise. Blam! Stupid bugs. We still gotta properly clear out the island. From all the crabs. Oop, we gotta do this bit first. Oops! <laughs> the crabs popped up. Station soldiers located... What was that? Did you guys see that? Said something about 
soldiers located in the south southern end of the Commonwealth. I've never seen that before. Is that like a hidden part of the uh, a hidden part of the quest? Oh, here we go. Jake's missing. God damn it! <laughs> Caitlin thinks he may have taken the receiver module. I've got Lupe checking the array right now. Get back here. <laughs> Jake's missing. Not again! Damn it! <laughs> uh, okay. I, <laughs> damn it. Uh, understood. You'll find us in the array room. Don't be long. Okay. God damn it! Jake, what have you done? Oh, now, now the fog clears. Okay. All right. Let me let me go and do this shit real quick. I like what they did with Spectacle Island. This was kind of fun, having to having to follow the uh, the wires and stuff all the way back to the boat in order to turn the power back on or to use the workbench. This was a fun little uh, little unmarked quest. I liked it. Bloop. Bloop. Oh god. The last time Liechtenstein went to war, they lost no one and brought back one friend. Out with 80, back with 81. That's really funny. That's really funny. You come back with uh, an additional soldier. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Wait a minute. Where the hell are my guys? Uh oh. Oh god. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> Fuck you, soft shell Meyer lurk. Where are the other crabs at? Come here, crabs. I'm gonna blast you. Where'd you go? Where, where did they go? Razor claw. Oh! Blam! Oh, come on. I'm also not sure what's going on here with the... Because, uh, like, all this grass stuff is a mod. I don't know why this side of the island is all of a sudden bald as shit. Oh, biscuits! Where you at? There you at. You getting stuck on the trees, you dumb bitch. Stupid crabs. What do you think you're even doing? Oh, there's my guys. Oh, come on. Don't just walk into the sea, dudes. We still got some fucking crabs to take out. Oh, there's one. <laughs> He's like, ow, damn it. What the fuck? That wasn't very nice. That's right, divide and conquer. Kill the crab. Oh, he went over the thing. I'll figure it out. Whoa. Okay, that was a waste of a grenade. <laughs> Wasn't very smart. Thought I heard a Myrler queen pop up around here. I mean, one is supposed to. I still don't know where she went. We got one guy over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop down a um, uh, a workbench here in a second. I just wanna make sure all the bugs are dead. There you are. Bam. Bam. Okie dokie. Uh, I think that's all of them. I'm pretty well. Actually, I think some are gonna pop up over by the shipping containers. Let me go check that real quick. And then we'll go do the shit with Aiden. Ooh. Ah, he was looking for gold. Oh, no, he was burying someone. Well, that's a lot less funny. I thought he was being a pirate looking for gold. But no. He had to bury a cow, someone he loved, and someone he didn't love. Hit. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we're just not going to jump there. Uh, they stood guard on the Italian border and no fighting occurred, and when they came back, they made, 
They made friends with an Austrian officer and brought him in. That's very wholesome. That's like the, um, what is it? Uh, Canada and, like, France or Iceland or somebody, uh, have technically been at war over control of this one island for, like, 80 years or something. And, like, they don't actually ever fight for territory on the island. They just show up every couple of years and replace the other's flag and, like, leave a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is just one of the funniest things ever. Like, that's how you do warfare the gentleman's way. You just you just go to a place where there's no soldiers, rip up their flag, and then replace it with their own, but leave a bottle of alcohol, because you're not an asshole. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Alright, so the crabs don't seem to be showing up. That Myrler Queen's... Way over there. Just kind of vibing. Getting shot in the face. Unless I missed. Or not missed, but like didn't reach. So let's try that again. Oh, no, there she is. Look at her go. Wow! <laughs> uh, get back here. Get back here so I can shoot you an excessive amount of times. And not do any real lasting damage. Come here. Stop being a dick. Play that clip from that one episode of Family Guy where they were all British and Peter's chasing down the queen to get a lock of her hair or something. And she's all like, come on queen, give a share. Don't be such a bitch. <laughs> Critical strike on the Marler queen. Alright, this is taking a while. I might just... I'm just gonna... Kill. Bleh. Eh. <laughs> okay. Let's throw down a... Uh, TDM. Got a... Oh, come on. There we go. And run over here. Do this real quick. I think. Oh, no. There we go. Alright. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. There's already five people here. Why? Oh, did I set, uh, did, mmm, ooh. I actually don't remember if I ever properly took this place. I don't think I did. Alright, main city, select city plan. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? That one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. No. No. Um. Enter. We'll go with. Oops. Where is it? We'll go with Indy Cowdy. Witness the story unfold. We need design for season one master contest. Yes. Tear it all down. Build anew. Become mighty. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and watch the entire thing. I just wanna get to wherever this is taking me, and then I can get a decent view of the island from up here. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna. Yep. Okay. Bloop. Oh, come on. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's head back over to the HQ and figure out just how badly Jake fucked up. All right. Ooh, come on. There we go. All right, then. Institute, and then the HQ. Oops, it's not supposed to be here. Drop me where I'm supposed to be, please. Ow, oh, fudge. Oh, come on. God damn it. 
This has also been a uh, an ongoing issue with Chapter 3. It, it continually, like, grabs me and then pulls me into the, uh, into the thing here. Usually it works if I just fast travel away, but every once in a while it'll drop me in this, like, like, Kingdom Hearts looking area where it's all just, like, sky. Yep. There we are. All just sky. But I think we are actually over the same settlement. Oh, that says that. Cannot fast travel while jumping or falling. Oh. I am in the void. 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 Okay, we're gonna have to reload it, which is super dope. Uh, I believe it's gonna be this one. You can fly now? No, th that would, that's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a stylistic free cam that triggers whenever you, uh, whenever you select a settlement to build a, um, uh, to build a city plan that you, uh, that you activate. Um. I think you died, Toshi. Yeah, I probably did. Don't worry. I'm a time wizard, so I can just travel back in time to a point where I was not dead. It's a super awesome ability. And now you're in the afterlife. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank God, finally. I can stop worrying about being alive. And thinking about what my and fucking worrying about my what my dad thinks about me. I could stop fighting for my dad's approval. I think we might have also crashed too. I'm going to pop these two up just to be on the safe side. Uh strange. Wonder uh what is causing that if it is SS2 Chapter 3 or one of the other mods you have. It's uh, it's likely that it's one of the mods I have. Um, I think that's the first time that that has showed up on screen or during a, uh, during a live stream. So if anybody... Yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna end the task and then just load back in. Um, if anybody has a previous... You know, anybody who's played it on like Xbox or something... Uh, if that's ever happened to you, let me know. Um, yeah. All right, let's load back in. Uh, that one. Um, so that's a minute ago. Let's let's here. Since that one's in the sky, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. I can't play Sim Settlements two because uh the mod is too big. My PC crashes. It is a very big mod. I will uh I will give you that. Um. It is quite large. <laughs> okay, that's unhappy.
Not to make happy, that makes sad. Let's give it a second try. Do 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 do. All right, let's try this again. We'll go with this one, and then we'll give so we'll give the game a second, and then we'll load in with the uh, uh, with the forty-eight minute one because that one should work. This one might have just crashed because it was uh, uh, experiencing you know some like it could have just been a loading problem. But just to be safe, we'll go in with the uh, the forty-eight minute one. 37 gigabytes 37 gigabytes of awesome dlc very true it is uh it is definitely worth it but if it's crashing and you actually can't play it like you are physically unable to play it because it keeps crashing your computer that is an issue <laughs> Okay, that's definitely not good. Um, let me see here. What is it actually saying? That's a lot of fucking shit. I don't know what any of these numbers or words or letters mean. This has to just be a loading issue. Because I can't, I can't quite see what would be the big crashes. Or the big issues. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, my PC is about seven years old. I was running some stuff. It's too. Toshi's runs uh, now with a few odd CTDs, which is expected of a modern of a modded game. Yeah. My Fallout 4 crashes is almost never with more mods. Interesting. Because I, I like I've said it before, I have noticed because like obviously I've had uh I've had issues where the game will, you know, it'll, like it'll crash on its own. Um, but I've un like as far as I can recall, which is pretty damn good when it comes to my mod stuff, um, I have not experienced any of those like pop-up window. CTDs since I installed Fallout 4 or uh, Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 3. I don't quite know. I mostly I just don't know what is causing the crash, or, like what the crash means. Like if it said like, oh, like, you know, this setting or this specific file uh, is the issue. Um, like maybe I'd be able to figure it out, but it doesn't say that. It just says like, oh, you tried to load in. It crashed. Tough luck, try again. And it's like, yeah, see, like this fatal error thing. Uh, the game has crashed. Would you like to upload a crash log? And then I could say yes. I could say no. If I say yes, it opens up a, weirdly enough, a paste bin of, um, you know, the, uh, the issue. Or it doesn't say the issue. It just shows the fucking miles of fucking text and code and shit, which I don't fucking know what any of it means. And then if I say no, it does the same thing, but it puts it on a word pad or a notepad rather. So yeah, I uh I don't know what uh I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> um Ooh. Fallout 4 game of the year is actually free on gog.com right now. 
Oh, that's pretty fucking based. Hold on a sec. Tweet. Dope. I do that. And. Oh, it's not free. It's 75% off. Well, that's. Oh, it says it right there in the thing. Oh, well. That'll work. Either way, that's a, that's a pretty good steal. Um, let's see. It's cool. Is the file corrupted? No, I just don't know what the issue is. Koshi, what do you think of Lupe? Lupe's, Lupe's fine. She's, she's all right. Uh, so that's that. All right, let's try, let's try this again. As they say. Uh, I don't need that. Let's get rid of these. I need that. And we'll pull you back down and pull you back up. Why does she have anime eyes? The art director, uh, somebody, we, we've had a couple of uh, people who actually work for Sim Settlements 2, um, or who have done work for Sim Settlements 2, uh, to phrase it properly. Um, they, they've uh, come, come in and out throughout the, uh, the, uh, the course of our playthrough. Um, they've been in several streams. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sai is still in the, uh, the chat right now, but one of them told me that the, uh, the reason ha Lupe has big eyes is because the art director was trying to aim for more of a, uh, a young, uh, a young woman kind of vibe. So like that 19 to, uh, you know, like 23, 24 range, um, trying to, trying to inter, or not interpret, but, um, uh, communicate visually that she is supposed to be a bit younger uh, than, you know, uh, a, a lot of the other characters. Um, which, when 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 I when I think about it a little bit more, I'm like that makes a, that makes a whole lot of sense because uh, there are a few other, I believe anyway, there's a few other characters in Vanilla Fallout Four who are closer to, you know, that age age range, and they also have slightly larger eyes. Um, if I remember correctly, um, and I, if I, I think that the character Lily, uh, who shows up, um, in like the first couple of missions, once you get, uh, once you get a real, uh, settler, uh, communication tower set up, um, I think she also has slightly larger eyes. I could be wrong on that, but it seems like we loaded in properly. So, oh uh, shit, we loaded in the wrong one though. We're floating in this one, I think. And it's taking a minute to actually... Or, well, it wasn't taking a minute to actually load in. It was reloading or something. Okay, that's weird. Let's try this one. <laughs> do, 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 do. Caitlyn has big eyes, too. Caitlyn has big eyes? I just didn't look that big. There was there was that one scene where uh, where her eyes did get a little wild. There, like they were open like all the way. And I'm like, bro, whoa, bro. <laughs> uh, uh oh, oh, are you gonna load? Hey, there we go. Okay, let's real quickly get rid of that, and then let's just run. Oh, damn it, we didn't get the chance to run away. Oh boy. Is anything changing? Okay, some stuff is changing. So let's just do this. We'll just we'll just sit here and let this let this do its thing. I don't want I don't want it to do that weird glitch again. Uh, did you hear the theory uh, that Lupe is a synth? Uh, she can take a weird amount of damage. She fell out of the helicopter 
And that that so far is the only time we've actually seen her in a situation where she's taken a large amount of damage. So I I don't you know I I th me personally there's not enough evidence to confirm that she is a synth. You know, like she's on the younger side, so like she's able to more easily bounce back from shit like that. And you know, it is still a helicopter crash, which is still an amazing thing to actually survive. Um, but you know, to, like that like that theory to me is just speculation with nothing really evident to back it up or at least nothing that i've seen so far um is the a uh, fix for your power armor i keep getting stuck in it um well i guess i i i guess i don't really know what you mean by stuck in it like you're you're in your power armor and then you hit, you press and hold the button to eject from your power armor, and you just can't. I don't know what that's about. Um, I tried googling it, googling it though. Um, because if you're if you're playing on vanilla, that definitely shouldn't be happening. Um, if you're playing on modded, it might be a mod that's causing that issue. Um, in which case, it's, in which case, it's usually better to just remove a mod that is causing an issue rather than adding in a new mod that's designed to fix that issue, which is because of a mod. Um, in most cases, anyway. It depends on the depends on the situation, obviously. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I would definitely do some, uh, do some investigation on that. Oh, it's foggy again. Oh no. Do 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 do. Off, bug. Open my phone, and every once in a while, I just like to look at like the articles that. Google recommends me, and one that uh, one one that I got sent is uh, New Jersey Supreme Court rules in favor of Catholic school that fired a teacher for having premarital sex, which like I I suppose it is a Catholic school, so I guess that you know is a little bit more like within their religious freedoms and rights and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know that ju that just seems like a silly a silly reason to fire somebody. Of course, at the same time, you know, I'm not, I'm not Catholic. I'm not Christian or anything like that. So it's like, I don't know. I guess it's just a different mindset, different, different understanding, different feelings and shit like that. So it's like, whatever. But like, I don't know. That still seems kind of silly to me. Okay. So we got that working. Is this, I don't think this is, no, that's, that's not. I have an actual mod that's like the red the red baron or something it's it's like a boat um that you can take that'll get you from like the castle to spectacle island or like spectacle island to egress torres you know anywhere there where there's like a dock and like you can use it to get like from here to far harbor and in like a couple of places in far harbor but i believe that it's actually in far harbor um let's save this real quick um, Toshi, are you using Baka Max Papyrus Ops? I am not. I don't know what that does specifically. I know that there's specific coding that you can, or there's specific uh, stuff that you can do mod-wise that utilize Papyrus. But as far as I know, I don't use that. I don't know what the upside of that is. And I don't know what Max Papyrus Ops does. And if I would require, like, papyrus uh, injections or something like that. Insane fundies are going to destroy the world. They really are. It's fucking wacky. I saw fucking yesterday that the Supreme Court uh, basically, like, it, for anybody who doesn't know who the Sackler family is, the Sackler family are the people in charge of Purdue Pharma, if I remember their name correctly. Um, and they're basically, like, the ones responsible for, like, the opioid crisis and shit like that. All the people fucking dying because of, uh, opioid overdoses and shit. 
And the the article I or not it wasn't an article like Google sent me like this is what the Supreme Court decided on fucking uh on on shit like this. Um and it basically it it basically was the Supreme Court giving uh the Sackler family and Purdue Pharma the right to basically just like ignore all these massive lawsuits against them that would have held them like criminally responsible for uh negligence when it comes to to issuing these uh uh like like the amount that they were putting out there which they have been caught saying like yeah we knew that it was probably not the best idea to put all these fucking opioids out, out into the market or something so it's like that's super cool combine that with the fucking student uh student aid repayment shit that the court that the supreme court basically just said nah fam too and it's like god damn what the fuck, man? Um, uh, I am Catholic, and I I can say uh, that it makes sense for the school to do that in terms of their religious belief. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like in the terms of their religious belief, I get it. Uh, but like, it, I don't know. I'm 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 semi critical of uh of religions and stuff like that. Like that, you know, every religion has something where it's just like, okay, come on, like that that seems that seems like kind of a silly thing, you know. And like, I don't know, like firing a teacher because they had premarital sex, like definitely within definitely within their uh their religious beliefs, and like obviously you know they're right. It's a if it's a Catholic school, they can run it the way they wanted to and stuff. But like. I don't know. That still that still seems silly to fire somebody over, especially a teacher. Like fucking at this point, fucking it's so goddamn impossible to not only make it as a teacher but actually find somebody willing to be a teacher. I for a short amount of time was actually trying to become a teacher um uh after the pandemic started, uh maybe like a year, year and a half. Um Oregon or well Oregon has uh you know specific requirements that you have to meet to become a teacher. Um, but they were in just such desperate need of teachers that they basically said like, okay, yeah, all, all that shit that you got to do. Yeah. You don't got to do that anymore. We like, we need teachers fam, <laughs> but like that, you know, that never penned out and I'm kind of sad cause I feel like I would have been a good teacher, but you know, like it is what it is. Um, fun fact, the kid from the CPD Shandy is voiced over, uh, by a pro voice actor, uh, Lena. Lena Molina? That can't be her fucking government name. Come on. Come on. Uh, who was in StarCraft 2 Warcraft and The Last of Us? Really? Who'd she play? That's 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 really cool. I'm a huge I'm a huge StarCraft fan. Um uh, It ups the operations per task in Papyrus, which should speed up the scripts running. Uh, when it is building the city plans. Papyrus is just the script language that is used by most most Bethesda games. Oh, so I just install the I just install the mod and it it just it just works regularly. Like I don't have to do any like weird extra shit. Because there was that one there is this one mod. Um uh fuck, what is it? It's like it's like load it, it basically like those those black loading screens it decreases the the runtime for those like exponentially but it seems like it was set up specifically to operate in vortex because i can't fi- actually no it seemed like it's it seems like it's supposed to just work out of the box but there's like a comment that says like hey if it doesn't work uh right away or if you're not seeing any like real big changes do this to the any file and I'm like going in there and I'm looking for the section that's telling me to edit, but the section just isn't there. So I don't know what the fuck to do with the mod because I don't know how to fucking edit files or anything like that. I mean, you know, I know how to go in and like change a value on an any file and like, you know, put put a uh, put a thing in to mess with an any file. But I can't they're saying go in and change a specific part of the any file and then, you know, it should be good there. And I don't really understand what's happening there (laughs) uh high fps physics fix i don't think that's it because i think that that's what i actually have i think it's under bug fixes yeah high high fps physics fix i have that it's not the mod i'm thinking of though like it was a new mod that like recently popped up oh come on
it did just open up the uh, Baca Papyrus thing, so we're good there. I can download that later. Um, so where is it? Uh, this week, popular 30 days. I think it's still in there. Ooh, I was actually looking for that there. Yeah, here it is. A uh, long loading time fix. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. But just like with the uh, the fall UI stuff, we're gonna put a pin in that, and then uh, and then we're gonna come back to that later. Uh, high FPS physics fix is the better one to use. Been around uh, for longer and is more stable. Okay, cool. So I don't I don't have to worry about the. Uh, Wait, are you saying I don't have to worry about the long loading time thing then? Ooh. Nuka World expansion. Oh, that's sick. It adds Nuka World shit. Oh, I'm on. That's that's on my radar now. That shit's dope. Yeah, long loading time fix. You're saying I don't need that one if I have high, P high FPS fix? Oh, that one can work. Uh, that one I can help with. I got it working. Okay, cool. I use both. Dope. We will, uh, again, we'll put a, put a pin in that and come back to it. Um, let me switch to, whoops. Okay, well, we're gonna, what, it's loading, uh, onto, there we go. Okay, we're, now we're in the Fallout 4 window. Um, how does Jake come missing twice? I know, right? That's what I'm fucking talking about. The first time he got kidnapped by Gunners, now he's actively, like, just running towards Gunners. Okay, cool. Uh, so we did that. So let's turn these guys off. And let's continue onward with the mission. Uh, there we go. Jake took off. All right, thanks. Left a note. Doesn't say much. Just that Oops. this is something he needs to do. God. Not to follow him. Uh, oh, shit. Hold on. With the gunners. He's got Actually, uh, I accidentally f fucking smacked my mouse and... <laughs> broke that cinematic moment by spinning around and looking at the fucking roof. <laughs> right? How does he keep doing this? I know, right? Jake's fucking wild. He's a nutto. He's crazy. Everybody. <coughs> Do, 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 do. All right, back in. Jake took off. He left Thanks. a note. Doesn't say much. Just that this is something he needs to do, and not to follow him. <sighs> He's arranged a meeting with the Gunners. He's gonna hand over the tech they wanted. I'm sure of it. We don't know that yet. Lupe's checking the array. If the receiver module is missing, we'll know soon enough. Okay, so it's on me now. That so <laughs> that was supposed to pause, but I have a mod uh it's like false soul or something that basically makes it so like there's no pause screen. Uh like time doesn't stop if you open up the pit boy or like read a note or anything like that. Um uh to everyone, there's something I need to do and it's something I have to do alone. So please don't try to follow me. Good luck in your fight against the gunners. I know that you can defeat them. Jake. Yo. Um do we uh do you really think that's possible? We're talking about Jake here. He and I don't always see eye to eye, but we both know he's a decent man. He won't have taken it. I bet his ex wife or daughter is a gunner. Well, uh I, I can't remember if you were here for the section yesterday. Uh, Caitlin, Jake's ex-wife, is actually in the room with us, and she and her daughter were both captured by the gunners and basically used as, uh, or, well, they're using his daughter as a, uh, a betting chip right now. Uh, they say, give us a specific part of the comaray, um, and then you get your daughter back and the war, uh, the war is over. Um, Caitlin was sent with Berman to give us a message uh, well, give Jake a message specifically about all this this whole arrangement thing. So if his uh, if his daughter and or if his if his ex wife is a gunner, she's playing the fucking double agent right now. I don't think that's what's happening, but I am still waiting for the other shoe to drop here. There is definitely there is definitely another boot that's about to come down right on our right on our face. Uh, let's get this over with. Lupe, how's it coming? 
Is the module there or not? Hold on. I just need to move these wires and... There! I see it! It's still here! See? Oh. I told you, Jake's too much of a goody two-shoes to screw us over. I'm... Yep, that's surprised. his wife. Ex-wife. Maybe working with you folks has changed him more than I thought. If Jacob wanted to, he could have taken it without any of us knowing. But the module's not moved a centimeter since the day I helped install it. I'm surprised you can... Well, not surprised, but it's it's very specific that you say a centimeter hasn't moved. Centimeters are very small. It's a very small distance. Um, who actually makes these loudspeaker announcements? Is there an announcer? There is not an actual physical character who does the announcements, as far as I know. But, fun fact, and we know this because she's been in here and said it at least twice, um, the art, the, the lead art director, uh, for Sim Settlements 2 chapter, uh, you know, Sim Settlements 2 in general, uh, Cynical Bounce, uh, who is on all social media platforms, and I believe it actually might be Cynical underscore Bounce on, on Twitter, but, you know, if, don't use Twitter, Twitter's awful, it's also dead, it's X now, but it's, a horrible horrible website um but uh she is actually the one doing the announcements uh she did the uh uh she did the audio recordings and it is actually her voice uh seeing the announcements and stuff and it's really funny because we were talking about uh we were talking about how fucked up the english language is uh yesterday and she actually mentioned that she is a a, a russian ex expat she moved here with her family from russia uh, when she was nine, or, well, she moved uh, to she moved to Canada from Russia when she was nine. So he, she had to learn English and everything. And maybe she was just like really, you know, flexing her voice acting muscles. Um, but <laughs> she told us that uh, some people say that she has a weird accent. I can't hear an accent even a little bit uh, in those uh, in those voice lines she recorded, um, which I think is just yeah, I think it's kind of funny. Um uh, was I saying? Yep, same thing. Okay. Um, what do we do now? What's Jake playing at? Going off to meet the gunners, but not taking the receiver module? Idiot's gonna get himself killed. Uh, we need to find Jake and stop him before he does anything else stupid. I like physical reasons for things. It would be kind of it would be kind of funny if King Gath put in like uh you know a little like a little room somewhere where uh. Or like just an NPC in like what like the logistics office or something like that, um, or like the administration office. Uh, that's that's the 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 lady who does the uh, uh, does the voiceover. Like the guy at the castle who uh, is the 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 voice of uh, the Miniman Radio or uh, uh, Freedom Radio. Uh, that'd be kind of fun. Um, where do you think he may have gone? Not sure. Actually, out of everyone here, you're probably the closest to him. If anyone could figure out where he went, it'd be you. I'm gonna need more to go on here. Try looking through Jake's belongings. Maybe you can find something. Okay, I'll do my best. I know you will. That's why you're our chief. Thanks, Please bud. Bring him back safe and sound. And Laura, too. If you can. Oh, excuse me. I'll see what I can do. Try to find any leads to where Jake might have gone. Once you do, probably best you pursue him yourself. I'm gonna hunt him down. We're not thinking straight. We send a whole team after him. Who knows what he'll do? I'm gonna hunt him down. Find Jake before the gunners do. Keep him safe. Good luck. I'm gonna hunt him down. Oh, come on. Medic required. Oh, 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 oh God. Excuse me. Okay. Investigate reports of a collapsed individual. Oh god. Okay, let's see here. Dude. Okay, look for clues. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh this was Lupe's room. Okay. No, this is Jake's room. Okay. Um that's his storage. Can't click on it, though. I don't know if that desk fan's supposed to be toppled over like that. Uh, storage, no. At 
Lena Molina is the voice actor for the dropships in uh, StarCraft Two. Oh, that's dope. I like the I like the dropships. Those are fun. They they add a uh, uh, like as a unit they add a a fun little bit of uh, uh, of extra like lore stuff. But uh, that's cool. Awesome. Who did who did she voice again in in uh, in Sim Settlements Two? Who'd you say? You said. Shandy, yeah, that's really funny. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go back and listen to the uh, the dropship voice, and then uh, and then listen to Shandy talk. Um, okay, it says look for clues, and Aiden said to check his room. Um. Hmm. Uh, glass pitcher's not supposed to be there. Um, oh. um, hmm. Sleep in his bed. That'll, that'll reveal the secrets. Uh, Jake's terminal in the comm room. Oh yeah, he does have a terminal in there. Forgot about that. Oh, that's loop base terminal. Jake's terminal's on the other side, right? Yes. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. Bloop. Ow, oh, biscuits, it's locked. Okay. <laughs> you got the you got the little like looking sideways face emote here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I had a uh, I have a friend who um, uh, who's been who's played uh, all of the modern Fallout's uh, Fallout Three, Fallout uh, New Vegas, uh, Fallout Four, uh, and who has been in a couple videos with me uh, in Fallout Seventy Six. And it's real funny because they uh, they told me once when uh, I can't remember if I was doing a hacking thing or if. Uh, uh, they were doing a hacking thing, but it was really funny because I, uh, I, I said, I, I think for some reason I said like, you know how to do this, right? And they're all like, yeah, just match the names and stuff. I'm like, well, no, you know about like looking for the, the like hidden like brackets and stuff like that. And they're like, what do you mean? And like they, they actually, I think I might've been streaming, but like, like I was casting to them or on, on discord or whatever. And I'm like, fucking I, I go to one of the I go to the one of the brackets and I'm like yeah you're supposed to look for like these things and then they like remove uh they like remove uh things from the uh you know they remove words to to narrow down the list and they're all like oh and I'm like yeah you're telling me you've gotten through four Fallout games with this hacking mechanic and you didn't know that damn you're on some fucking next level shit. Okay, um, there no, there's no way in hell I'm going to hand over the receiver, oh, sorry. There's no way in hell I'm going to hand over the receiver module to the gunners, even if it meant getting Laura back. Okay, I, <laughs> the screen looks very orange right now, and I'm not sure if it was the in-game lighting or, like, my real-life lighting. I'm like, oh god, is there a fire right outside? What's happening? <laughs> um, people refuse to read. I mean, like, in this case, it probably is smarter, well, maybe not smarter, but, like, big brain to not do it that way because then your brain actually gets trained on like what words you have to look for like i i fucking couldn't tell you like what the actual rules are it's like you need to find like words with the sim like the similar letters in the similar place in the word i don't fucking know i just i just either i just either cheat or just find the uh you know find as many um uh find as many word remover things and just fucking hope I get lucky at that point. <laughs> I just brute force my way through it because, ironically enough, I also refuse to read. <laughs> like Kanye West, I'm a proud non-reader. <laughs> and we're back looking for the pizza. What up, Wanderer? How'd the stream go? I saw that you, uh, I saw that you went live a little bit ago. Um, okay, so I gotta, I gotta read this. Um, uh, there's no way in hell I'm going to hand over the receiver module to the gunners, even if it meant getting Laura back. 
Uh, I just won't. Oh, I just won't. It would hurt. Uh, it would hurt our settlements. The HQ, our people and workers. These people. Mm, excuse me. These people trust and rely on us. They're our family, and I won't hurt my family. I'll leave a note on the logistics desk. Let them know I'm gone, and uh, I've got a plan. But if it, but it's risky, and I won't risk anyone but myself. And I for sure will not risk Toshi. Ah, they got my name in there. Oh, Jake knows our name, Bruh! Bruh! Jake knows my name, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Like everyone to know that work on the new library has been completed. Library. Please remember that books and magazines are for reading purposes only. Oh. Okay, we'll just we'll just leave that hanging in the air. Um, he's simply too important to the Commonwealth. Oh, Jake. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I should go in. Uh, I've arranged to meet uh, the Gunners where I first discovered A. Sam's. It seemed poetic. The hardware store? No, he was working at the hardware store. Where did he first discover A. Sam's? Oh, interesting. Find Jake's map note. Okay. We got lobotomized, and you? Luckily, we didn't get lobotomized, but uh, we did crash a whole lot, so that's basically the same thing. Note to self. Take out the trash. Bonjour, Toshi. Mon per premier stream. I don't speak Spanish. Sorry, but welcome, Jarl. <laughs> uh, running low on ASAMs. Lupe suggested building more, but still plenty of crates left at the Robco head office. Is that where he first found them? The Robco head office? Maybe next staff meeting, mention Nick Banks' stockpile. Uh, let them know it's where I first discovered ASAMs. Okay, uh... Oh, that says Natic. Sorry, Natic Banks uh, stockpile. Let him know that's where I first discovered ASAMs. Time to stop being so protective of the place. P.S. Return Mansfield Manfield's copy of Pitfall. <laughs> oh boy, damn, bro. Don't worry, we got it. Uh, we got it working now. Just to you know, the wackiness of modding Fallout Four. Uh. I really didn't. I really don't hear the accent that people are talking about uh, with cynical bounces voice. No, yeah, like that's what I'm talking about. I hear like no accent, um, but then at the same time, you know, I I don't know if she's like you know really putting on an accent, um, you know, if she's like a skilled voice actor or anything, um, or even just like a not skilled voice actor. Like I'm not a skilled voice actor. I've done you know the only voice acting stuff I actually have to my credit is like one thing I did for school and then just like all this streaming and YouTube stuff. Like that's the only voice acting experience I have. But as far as like doing like different accents or like different voices and stuff, I'm far from a professional. I mean, like I've, I've thrown it out there every once in a while here on stream and stuff for, for you guys just because it's like funny and stuff, but it doesn't sound convincing. <laughs> like not even a little bit like fucking this shit doesn't sound like a real person said that uh okay uh track jake down in natic banks okay where's natic banks oh dear it ain't there um hmm let me go outside real quick there's a roach in my office again i don't know how they keep finding their way in here yeah me neither Aiden, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's okay for you to be sitting in this chair, Aiden. I think you're going to get some, I think you're going to get some less than friendly ats, my guy. Like, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, this way. You know, I really expected uh, modders to make a lot more hip boy games. That is a really good point. There's like no mods uh, to make like new Pit Boy games. What the hell? <laughs> Why the fuck not? Alas, it never happened. I also expect uh, someone to make Doom run in Fallout 4, right? You just fucking play Doom on uh, uh, in in Fallout 4, like on the on the Pit Pad. What I'm waiting for is somebody to uh, to make because if I remember correctly, somebody made Minecraft. 
in Minecraft. Like, it runs as Minecraft. Like, that, like, like, because, you know, people are always building, like, fucking computers in Minecraft and having them do all this fucking wild and crazy shit. And somebody did that, but it fucking runs Minecraft. It's like, what the fuck? Holy shit. Shit's fucking wild. I'm on it. Do it, Wanderer. Make, make fucking Doom for, make a, make a Doom game in, uh, in, in Fallout 4. <laughs> make it happen. Um, Cynical sounds exactly like Cassandra in IRL. Oh, that's cool. Cassandra's got a, got a, got a cool voice. I know I've heard her, uh, speaking when she popped into the charity stream that KG did. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, so I need to go, where was it again? Natick Bank? Track Jake down in Natick Banks. Okay, so let me take a look at the note again. Uh, from Jake. Note to self. Okay. Running low on ASAMs, Lupe suggested building more, but still have plenty of crates left at the Robco head office. Okay. So there is the Romco head office, but that's not where he first discovered uh that's not where he first discovered ASAMs. He said he first discovered them at the Natick Banks stockpile. And I think that's because isn't this no, this is Nahat. Okay, where's Natick Banks, though? Salem. Okay, so that's that. This is... The story of a girl. Sorry. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Where is Natick Banks? Uh... Uh-oh. Chat, point me in the right direction. Use your collective brains. Because mine are insufficient for this task. Natick Banks. Natick. Is that somewhere west south? West? Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, fuck, where is it? Uh. Shit, it's somewhere along the river here, isn't it? Natick. Natic. Yeah, fuck, it's where that death claw is. Here it is. Natic Banks. Okay, cool. Let's go to Uh I don't like any of these. Let's go to the irradiated dump and head in from the south. Further west. Northern Long Sea. I found it. <laughs> more backer, more backer. <laughs> Making blasphemous run and fall out in New Vegas. Hell yeah. Fucking do it. Woo, that's a big boy. Okay. We'll just run this direction for a little bit. Fucking dealing with a little bit of rads is way better than dealing with a lot of raiders. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember, like, Natick definitely... Whoa, okay. Dealing with a little bit more rads. There we go. Yeah, because I, re I remembered Natick sounded familiar. Like, I'm like, that's a base game location. But then it's like, shit, where though? <laughs> Keep going west till you reach, till you reach Nevada. <laughs> exactly. Just like, hey, we found it. Let's fucking go. Okay. Dope. So here we are. We have reached Natick. It's a disgusting weather situation but I am going to take a uh, picture maybe a little lower Plop. there we go this fallout rain somehow louder than the minecraft rain bruh it's it's uh it's mostly well this specifically is um uh Na uh, NAS X, N A C X, uh, which is a weather mod, but uh, yes, the uh, the rain is quite heavy and it uh, is quite quite loud. Um, 
quite sure what's happening there. Like, rain? No rain. Rain? No rain. Rain? No rain. <laughs> but, whoa! Kidoki. We made it. Where are these guys? Oh, it's the Brotherhood. Get them, Brotherhood. Fuck them up. Oh, Jesus. Good thing. Whoops. Oh, uh, you lost one of them. Uh, oh, that was a super mutant. Where the fuck did he come from? Hello? Oh, there's that death claw. Fuck. <clears throat> fuck you. Get out of my house. This is my house. I live here. Yeah, fuck him up, Brotherhood. Whoops. That, uh... That didn't, that didn't go well for him. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Gee whiz. No. There you go. There he is. Oh, shit. God, he moves quick. Have the Death Claws always moved this fast? He seems like he's fucking zooming. Whoa. Okay. Whoops. 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 <clears throat> I just pissed him off. God. This is harrowing. It's like an actual fucking, like, Ridley Scott's alien situation. Whoop! Oh, Jesus. He's got the zoomies. He really does. Deathclaw took meth. I mean, jet. Straight up. Okay, there we go. Damn, that uh, that actually got a little crazy there for a second. Dude's fucking whole ass leg got ripped off. And I think there's a fucking Brotherhood corpse down there now. Like in power armor and shit. That death claw meant some business. Okay, so let's get in the bank here. Uh, wait. Can we actually go in here? Is there's a... Okay, it's Natick Banks. So, where's Jake? He's got some real crack gremlin vibes. He really does. I'm taking a lot of rads here. Jake, where you at? You son of a bitch. In the antique section. Did you go antiquing without me, Jake? That's pretty fucked up, not gonna lie. You know how much I've always wanted to go antiquing with you. Oh, God. Fucking storm's really coming down out here. Um. Hmm. Okay, and then that's the hotel. Well, where the hell? Where's Jake? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Alright, fair enough. Um. Hmm. I don't know where Jake is. I'm not exactly having the best time in this rain right now. So let's do this. Let's get right the fuck out of here before we die of radiation poisoning. And then we can reassess the situation. Hey yo, where the doctor at? You ain't the doctor. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. Okay. No. <laughs> Um, it's over here, isn't he? Where's the red one at? God damn it. Uh, there it is. 
Hey, yo, Doc. Hit me with some of that good juice. And you won't have to see too much of me. I hope not. Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, you the doctor here? But how? In the meantime, we'll do that check. Take care of your. I'm I'm good and ready. Third generation sensor, really something. Hmm. All this advanced technology, and we still can't cure the common cold. All yeah, right. Let's think. Hold still, and I'll take a look. Thank oh, God. I've definitely seen some action. Yes, indeed. I've got just the thing. Something about the atmosphere of Fallout 4 I don't like too much. I love uh, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, but can't get into Fallout 4 personally. Still enjoy watching you play through it there. Well, that's good. That's 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 good that you at the very least enjoy watching uh, watching the playthrough of it. Uh, go back to the Main Street in Natick Bank, then go slightly south towards the Red Rocket Station. Got it. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm set up to have a place to sleep here. Oh, wait. Ah! Get fucked government that'll show joe brandon dope all right so now it's daytime outside and it should be a little better let's zip over to Natick Bank. Banks, rather. <laughs> you could have thrown a rock at your destination. I probably could have, but there was a couple factors working against me. One, fuck it, I don't know where I'm going. Two, there's a fucking rad storm melting my brains. And three, or well, three... Uh, there's a fucking death claw who wants to eat the rest of it. And four, just the general, like, I don't know what I'm doing kind of thing, you know? Okay. God, it's so fucking dark out here. Maybe I should. One more hour? Oh, that was a real big bad decision. Actually, here, can I do this? Yes, we'll just do this. Oh, God. Like 20 feet away. Very good. It said south towards the, uh, towards the Red Rocket Station, which means that we, I mean, we came from that direction, which means I literally walked right past where I was supposed to go. <laughs> uh, it, like, I, I, I prefer there not being a map marker. Uh, and I like that there wasn't a map marker in this, but they gave you plenty of clues to actually, you know, figure out what direction you have to go and where you have to be. Um, I'm, I'm just fucking bad at that. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking, it's, it's, it's bad. I'm bad at it. I'm so bad. <laughs> but, um, yes, I did. I do like if, I, if the, if the radiation storm hadn't been happening, I probably would have spent a lot more time, uh, actually like looking around, but time was not on my side. Um, but I do like the way this quest is structured. I do like that it just points you in the direction, but it doesn't actually give you a, uh, uh, a quest marker. There are situations in where that is definitely something that you need to have. Uh, I can't remember specifically, uh, what the quest was, but in my review of Fourville, uh, the mod Fourville, uh, I definitely go in on it, but there were a couple quests in that game. Uh, or in that mod that did the same thing. They didn't give you a quest marker, but they really, really should have. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, they really should have. There, There's an appropriate time when a quest marker is definitely needed, and there's other times where a quest marker is definitely not needed, but it really all depends on how well you actually inform the player about what they or like where they need to go and what they need to be looking for um which is what they did in this quest uh which is very well done but that is not something that they did in some of fourville's quests um which is a little disappointing because overall that that game that mod was pretty pretty solid um i feel like i just needed like a little bit more time to cook um but that <laughs> Getting off my soapbox, heading over to where Jake is. 
Okay, so... Oh, I got... There we go. Uh, so Shadow Man said it's over in this direction. Towards the... Uh, towards the red rocket. So here we are. Let's poke around here. Get the whoop. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, Adam. Please. Please don't kill me. Okay. Uh, nothing there. Whoops. 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 What the fuck is happening? Okay. We're good. Um, is it in here maybe? No. Oh, wait a minute. Detonate. Oh, I don't have a grenade. Shit. Mm. Oh, hey, how's it going? Vex. Give her a second. Hey, yo, what up? Things just got interesting. Thank you. Better be reasonable. Well, it's not, but you know. Uh, you can go to Murkwater Construction Site. Right. You're the boss. I like sending all the like raider-looking people down there because Murkwater Construction Site is a real like raider kind of vibe location. Um, it also helps that that is where I set up a raider base uh, when we were doing the Sim Settlements One Conquerors uh, DLC, um, which was a really really good mod. Um, and I'm I'm a little bit sad uh, that it is not returned for Sim Settlements Two yet, but I also kind of get why it didn't, wouldn't, or probably should not. Uh, it's kind of its own standalone thing. Um, hold on one second here. That is in here, and I believe that's under here. Nope, that's in the actual settings. No. Rad storm alarms. Yeah. Because, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, where is this siren? Where is this noise coming from? And then we're going to real quickly load in a different weather setting. Let's do. Let's do. Oop. Is it dying down? Hold on. Okay, good. Thank God. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. So, um, keys, key cards, anything smaller than a human needs a marker. Agreed. Agreed. Definitely, definitely agree on that one. Uh, Nahir selects shotgun. You have to find a key card that is underwater. No marker. Uh, and it can move, so you can just get lost randomly. Or so it can, it can just get lost randomly. Uh, it's at the intersection before you reach the red rocket. Woman just casually sleeping through a nuclear war. I mean, like, you know, fucking, when the body's tired, the body's tar tired. Uh, okay, hold on. So, you said intersection. Would that be here? Or you mean, like, farther that direction? Hello? Hey, yo, your house fall apart. Oh, it's a three-story house. Oh, you had the attic space. Somebody died here. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Yeesh. Whoops. Excuse me. Eh, okay. I can figure this out. I'm not that big of a dum-dum. Right there, that, inter that intersection. This intersection. Right here. What do you mean that intersection? Uh oh. Oh no. But like, what am I looking for? I don't see Jake. 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 What the fuck? 
That boarded up building is it. This one. Or are you talking about this building? store. The one on the corner. So this one then. Oh, oh, door controller. Wait, what? A door here is part of Sim Settlements 2. You can toggle its existence with this. Store access to Sim Settlements 2 version. Disable this controller. Is it, is there supposed to be a door here naturally? Like for the mod, is there supposed to be a door here? Cancel, oh. Go to the intersection, pull up your local map. Uh, whoops, wrong one, uh, local map. No door is vanilla. Okay. So this intersection. This is the one you're talking about here. And you're talking about this building on the corner? That's the door. Okay, so I had it I had it right. This this guy. But with this door controller thing. This guy that we're looking at right here. I think there's a delay happening right right uh right now. But I think you're saying that this is the door we're supposed to be at. Yes, okay. Okay, so this is the door. So are we supposed to do something with this door controller right here? Save your game. Okay. To the left of the door controller. Okay. To the left of the door controller. Over over this way. Toggle the SS2 version. Okay. We we saved it, right? Yes, okay. Uh restore access to the SS2 version. Right? That's that's what we're gonna do, right? Toggle the SS2 version. Yeah, okay. Like that. Yes, okay, Robco HQ. So we're good. Okay, now there's a marker thing. Why was that not there before? Restore, ac okay. Restore access to original area. The access to the original area is a boarded up fucking nowhere. That's weird. It's supposed to be a door, uh, but the hijack is broken, uh, or just don't, uh, it doesn't, doesn't progress. Seems that it was reset to vanilla somehow. Okay, so, uh, Sim Settlements 3, or Sim Settlements 2, Chapter 3, this door is supposed to be here, but for whatever reason, it's not, and this is saying, this, this door controller thing is saying, uh, that we can restore access to the original area. That's... That makes sense because, um, well, one, there's also, there's also this, which, uh, you know, is good, but it also kind of throws everything else I said out the window, uh, about not including a, um, uh, a, uh, a quest marker. But this is interesting because I think, uh, the Fallon's department store in Concord also has this, um, it has a little, little door controller thing. And you can switch back and forth between the SS2 location and the original area. But if I remember correctly, the Fallon's Department Store in Concord is boarded up. And it doesn't have an original location. Um, uh, yeah, there's a switch like that for GNN as well. Okay, so those are just, those are just put in there uh, on purpose as, like, you can switch back and forth between, like, what... Um, what this area is used for in Sims Elements 2, and if you have anything else in it. Okay, 
cool. And then that helps you avoid like unnecessarily o- un- unnecessary overlaps and stuff. Okay, got it. Dope. And one for Vault 75 I recently found out. Interesting. Well, let's uh, let's drop another save here real quick. And before we actually continue, Fortnite, Fortnite indeed. Uh, before we actually continue, I'm going to uh, take my plates out real quick, and I'm going to get uh, one thing. Uh, but I will be back in just one moment. So don't go nowhere crazy. We will be right back.
couple of, uh, got a couple lemon cucumbers that my dad brought me from his garden. Lemon cucumbers are good, boy. They're basically just, they're literally just regular cucumbers. They're just round. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, before you continue, do not kill the robot. I don't kill robots unless they shoot at me first. And then I obliterate them with wanton disregard for their structural makeup. Um, that's all I'll say. Uh, it'll make sense later. Very good. Sounds apocalyptic. Come on, NACX. Exactly. Fucking make the world crash around us. God, I love the weather it puts in here. Okay, let's hop on in. Do 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 do. Ba ding. Robco. Robco HQ. Yeah, robot, kill it. Hello there, and welcome to the fifth annual Robco Technological Showcase. Thank you. Today is the last day of our open exhibit, displaying the finest in Robco brand goods and services. Please feel free to luck around at your leisure and. Enjoy the very best that Robco has to offer. Oh, the daily drudge of the weekly grind can leave you drained and fog your mind. But there's someone who can change it all. Pick up that phone and give Robco a call. And you'll hear them say our computers are sublime and our robots last lifetimes. Our home domestic service leaves competitors behind. No matter what your problems, no matter what your bind, yes, you who can rely on Robco. Oh, the wife is nagging and the boss is. Alright, just gonna. Just gonna. Just gonna. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep. Keep going. Okay. Um. It is very dark in here. Whoops. Systems are expertly designed. No matter what your problems, no matter what Ooh, you okay. find, Ooh. yes, you who can rely oh, come on. on Rapco. Okay, it's now it's working. I don't know why my flashlight wasn't working for a second. Those unfair unions make you feel like a clown. Um can help things run as they should. Oh, over here. Because we pride ourselves on quality. He's still going, I know, right? Shut up! Can I shoot him? Shut up! Oh. Hello there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! Help! I fucked up! Oh god! Let me out of here! Please! Somebody! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. No! Please! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Check the display. Oh. Look around and maybe you'll find a product What secrets do you contain? You eternal witch. Come loose from your cardboard prison and give to me what I desire. I can't pick him up. God damn it. Wait for the sentry bot. Oh god. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. <laughs> uh box of ASAM sensors. I will take those. Yes indeed. Uh okay. So where are we going here? Displays. Oh. Plural. Oh, all of the actual displays. Oh, okay. Oh, will these turn on? <gasps> I see you found Oh fuck yes! Novel device indeed, and predicted to revolutionize America's construction industry by 2082. No longer constrained by the whims of the fickle laborer, the needless complexities of a blueprint, or suffocating local building regulations. Now anyone, and we mean anyone, can construct themselves a beautiful home, a place to work, or even a small greenhouse to grow food. <laughs> No longer constrained by the whims of the fickle laborer, the needless complexities of a blueprint, uh -oh. or suffocating local building regulations. Whether you're a local city manager or the average citizen, 
The ASAM is for you. Rupko Thanks. And ASAM sensors. Just one of the latest breakthroughs in Rupko innovation. Hooray! Oh, that was nice. I like that. It did repeat for a minute there, but that works. Oh, the Pip Boy. You're looking at the Pip Boy 3000 Mark IV. Ooh. Each one of these devices includes a built in radio, newly optimized OS, powerful flashlight, and unique to the Mark IV, a universal adapter plug, making it the perfect companion for any tech savvy go getter. Once again, Robco Industries raises the bar. With the Pip Boy 3000 Mark IV. Would have been a shame to just run on by and miss all this content. It really would. I like this. This is dope. I didn't even pay attention to any of this. Bloop. Behold, the future of medical diagnosis. The Rubco brand handheld Vigor Tester. Hooray! No more expensive trips to the hospital, hour long consultations, or having to use bulky and outdated machines. Caesar. Simply point the handheld vigor tester at the intended patient, and helpful medical grade gamma rays will reveal the subject's physical condition. The handheld vigor tester. Because Rubco cares about your health. Oh, that's nice of him. <laughs> Rubco cares about your health. For a price. Ah, uh, there ain't one for that. Well, this is the main one. Hello there. I'm Robco Rob, proud mascot of Robco Industries. Acting as the testbed for many of Robco's innovative technologies, I represent the pinnacle of industrial advancement in the field of robotics. Uh -huh. But that's only my day job. When I'm off the clock, I enjoy nothing more than partaking in the many fine products provided by Robco. Ah, uh, what a tool. Please, feel free to look around, and maybe you'll find a product that's right for you. Uh -huh. Okay, if that had played automatically, I probably would have actually focused on like looking around and stuff. I don't, I don't think it did. Maybe it did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Gutsy, Mr. Handy, no. Okay, uh, you don't get anything I need. Bloop, bloop. Developed in partnership with General Atomics, Rothko is proud to present the new and improved Mr. Handy. Ooh. Washing dishes to automotive repair. Each standard unit is now capable of performing over 10,000 unique household chores. Bruh. Purchase a model today and receive a free software upgrade, including enhanced personality and vocal subroutines. Hell yeah. The new and improved Mr. Handy. The perfect addition to any American home. Brought to you by Robco. Very nice. Wait, what's this one? Oh, is that just the terminals? For reliability. Yeah. Can't go wrong using Robco's unified operating system. Apple. Its inbuilt ability to run on a multitude of devices and hardware ensures minimal issues of incompatibility or data corruption. Never mind, that's Windows. For a computer system that'll run for centuries, luck no further than Robco. Might be Linux. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh no. Has one of your robots suffered unexpected and uninsured damage? Or perhaps it's developed a pesky case of self-awareness? Oh, God. Well, you'd better break out that checkbook, because this one's gonna cost you. Or is it? <gasps> Coming soon for public and commercial use. The Robco Robotic Assembly Platform. Instant robot repair, upgrades, customization, or simply a new lick of paint. All at your fingertips. We need like uh Robco, your one stop shop for robotic convenience. You need to like take all these guys, you know, these little voice things, and make like fucking commercials out of them. <laughs> and then like at the you know, like fucking do like machinima machinima stuff. Uh so like a robot like breaking down or exploding or whatever. And like, oh you're gonna have to duel out some fucking money for that. Oh, you just get this big fucking thing that you put in your garage, and then you can fix the robot yourself. Or kill yourself. One or the other. Either way, we are not criminally liable. <laughs> and then, like, at the end, like, uh, only found in Sim Settlements 2, or some shit. That'd be a funny little promo. Alright, what do I do now? This elevator is for Robco personnel only. Oh, fuck you, Rob. God damn it. 
In the event of an emergency, please leave by the entrance, all by the fire extinct, uh, fire escape. Um, okay, so I gotta figure out how to open this door. It's a master lock. Um, let's poke around here. Got anything down here? Nope. Ooh, did I go back there? I was down here. <gasps> Backs of ASAM centers. S sensors. Wow, I fucked all that up. Uh, can I grab you? Nope. 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 Mm, oh, basement. Here we go. Now we're talking. Okay, can't go through that door. All right. Exit. Oh, oh God. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, yo. Who's ready to die? What the fuck? Wow. I missed all of those shots. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Innards. Well, I'm not going down there. Alright. What do we got? What's in here? Oh. Your presence is not authorized. Sorry. I'm looking for someone. You are unauthorized to be here. Sorry. Let me through. I'm on important military business. Acknowledged. Standing down. Hello? Is someone there? Hi, Jake. Considering I'm getting security reports of robots being deactivated, I'm going to assume there is. I... Look, oh. If you're the gunners, hear from me. The path you're trying to take down ain't safe. Just go wait in the main lobby. I'll activate the elevator to bring you down soon. Just, just make sure you're ready to keep up your end of the bargain. It ain't, it ain't me. I'm going on down here. Five misses. Legendary. What? Did I miss something? Uh oh. Oh no. Area not secure. Repeat. Area not secure. Oh shit. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for any. Filthy communists. Uh, computers. Any anything good in here? You got any treasures? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. This is where we came from. Oh, the mole rat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not exactly the best shot in the West. I am. Quite bad when I get frazzled. I'm a, I'm a better sniper than I am a uh, a frontline combatant. I just fucking shoot willy nilly. What is happening here? Bang 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 bang. It's not working. Okay, should I just go up and use the elevator? Um, uh, ding dong, bing bong. This elevator is for Rothko personnel only. Ooh, okay. In the event of an emergency, in the event of an emergency, just get caught on fire. You'll be fine. Remember, stop, drop, and roll. Whoops, excuse me. Use your pit boy. <laughs> I'm fucking knocking down the lights and shit. Oh my Jesus! Oh no. Oh, wow. That is super small. I did not even see that. I'm gonna, like, look in here at this thing where it's pointing. But the plug-in is right there. Wow, I didn't even notice that. That is a really small hitbox, too. And it's not even pointing at the plug-in. It's pointing, like, just below the plug-in. Oh, yeah, that's real. That's a real... Tiny hitbox. I think that hitbox might need to be expanded a little bit. Because that's... I, I completely missed that. Whoop. What the... Oh, that was weird. Okay. Uh... Plug it. Whoop, whoop. There it is. I did it. 
Okay, cool. What the? I don't, I don't know if he's supposed to be there. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it. Ow, what the, f what the fuck? What the, stop it, help. What the hell? Why would you do that? I thought we were cool, man. We're not cool now. You were very rude. Jesus Christ. Blink. Get fucked. Now you can't go out the door. Uh-oh. Shit, she opened the door. Fuck them. Close the door. Okay. Are you listening to me? No. You were not, in fact, cool. Is that you? Maybe. It is, isn't it? I should have known. Look, just, just turn around and go back to the HQ. No. I don't. I don't think that robot was supposed to attack me there. That seemed. That seemed a little wacky. Ah, I broke it. Let's try it again. A novice, this should be easy. Even if my pi my lockpick skill is trash. Come on. Come on. There it is. Jesus. All right. Slick, please. No. Where's the ding dong bell? You don't need to be here. Yes, I do. You've already done enough. No, I haven't. Uh oh. Triggered a security lockdown. Sorry. I'm reading a whole bunch of robots and turrets getting activated. Oh god. Why couldn't you have just stayed at the HQ? You're gonna get yourself killed! Unlikely! I am a god. I can't deactivate the lockdown from here. You're gonna have to find an override terminal. Should be on your floor somewhere. So it's over there. Let's see if we can sneak past the robots. It attacked because it caught you picking the lock. How the fuck did it do that? It was upstairs. Move somewhere else, dickbag. I'll blast you. Don't kill that robot. Oh, man, but he's like right there, and he's like all in my way. And like, I need to get over there, but he's over there. God damn it. Does he have a hat? Is he wearing a little hat? He's wearing a small hat. God damn, I can't kill a robot who's got a small hat on. He doesn't seem hostile. Are you nice? Whoa. Whoop, you're not nice. Alright, well at least I get to shoot something. Hmm. With what degree of skill is another question entirely. But. <clears throat> I did it. Whoops. Bam! Thank you. Don't kill the hat bot. The hat bot shall remain alive until the end of time. God, I swear to God, if he says milady once, though, I'm exploding him. With wanton disregard. I will spawn in uh, a Merv. The one that shoots several large fellas or whatever the hell we 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 decided that the that the fat man was called last uh, yesterday. I will spawn one of those in and I will nuke this entire fucking bitch. Okay, so that requires a key card. I'm gonna take more of these boxes of ASAM sensors because they're epic. And let's see if we can find a key card. Or some way to unlock it. Oh, did this work? No. The biggest lad, that was it. Biggest lad. That's Rob Co. Rob. That's Rob Co. Rob. That'd be pretty funny, not gonna lie. So, 
Um. Okay. Oh, no. Um. Uh. Can I talk to him? Can't talk to him. Dope. Uh, ooh. Hello. Big hole in the wall. I don't know how I didn't see you before. Hmm. Okay. Robco production floor requires key. So where's the key? Go back upstairs to the reception terminal. Okie dokie. All the way upstairs? He can speak, we'll come up later. Okay. So yeah, it seems like you're saying all the way upstairs. Okay, reception terminal. Um. No, that's still master locked. Or were you talking about, like, literally just up one level? Feel like you might have been talking about literally just up one level. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Um, can I jump through here? Oh, I can. Oh, God. There it is. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't know I could jump through there. All right. Uh, what level is this? This is advanced. Okay, interesting. It. Uh, that requires it. Key. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at how big and wide these windows is. Perfect for jumping through. Something that we could never do in any of the other Fallout games. Like this? There ain't no window here. I can't jump through that, though. Like, what the fuck? Uh, I'm just gonna... Just a little bit of that. A little bit of that business. Turret control. Deactivate. Epic. <laughs> Glad I turned that off. Um, but like, what do now? That still requires a key. Hit. For security. Yeah, it's only turret control. What the f... What the flip? What the ace? Robot, reveal the secrets of this place to me! He don't give a shit. That man don't give no... No fucks. Um... Yeah, that one's not on. It's not on... There's something back here. No, there's nothing back here. Oh no. There's a texture missing there. Fair enough though. Um Okay, well how do I gain access to this though? It requires a key. Where do I get the key? Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm like legitimately stuck. I don't know where I'm supposed to get the key from. Um. Oh, can't. Oh, yeah. Those are lootable refrigerators, not openable refrigerators. Um. No. 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 
Uh, ooh, more ASAM sensors. Nope. Nope. Um. Oop, <laughs> didn't mean to jump there. Um. Okay, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do to get the key? I can't help. I'm stuck waiting for someone to call on the radio several quests back. Uh-oh, that ain't good. Uh... Is that that? Okay, so that's where I was before. Oh! Got an active leak here. That's not too great. Um... Oh. The robot had the mag card. Wait. So we were supposed to kill the robot. So how would we have gotten the production floor mag card? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Okay, requires key. So what did what did that key card do then? Would that have unlocked this? What does the key card do? Oh, well, now I'm lost and confused even more so. Because now we got a key card from the robot, which we had the ability to not kill with that speech check but she had that key card thing on her which I don't know what it does and it's like it does I mean it maybe it didn't maybe it's not important Commonwealth wait where does this go oh I don't even know where that goes now um okay what about this? This elevator is for Robco personnel only. Uh. An emergency, please leave by the project. Okay. So what am I supposed to do here? Oh. No, that's that. Um. Any anybody in the chat have any ideas? Cause I have been thoroughly lost for a hot minute. Eh, eh. Nope, not there. Uh, yeah. No idea. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. Shadow man, you still in the? You still in the chat? What do I, what, oh, wait. Oh, okay, so that's how we unlock that. But then, like, what's what's really the good of locking this at all? You can literally just jump through the window. I mean, it's fun, it's funny. But like, how do we fucking get in? Requires key card. Require okay, Robco master control needed for terminal. And that is that one's opened with a terminal. Which I would imagine would be you. But then where do we get the key for you? Um... And I don't know what's going on with this guy. This is 
big door that we can't open. Okay, let's do this. Save. And then just unlock. There. I don't I, I don't know where what we were supposed to do, what what key card we were supposed to get, but I I couldn't find it. I I tried. Um there. Override lockdown. Gee whiz. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Maybe something you missed by the displays, I think. Maybe? But I can't think of why the key card for stuff down here would be up by the displays. Okay, there we go. Poke around in here a little bit. Is this open? No, yeah, that door's broken. Okay. We're coming, Jake. Don't worry. Hey, dude. How's it going? I'm still here, but I don't remember where to get what I need. Talk to Rob. Well, we already we already cheated, so we'll worry about that later. And here was me thinking I could get all this sorted. Before you even found out what was going on. Correct. That was very silly. I guess not. Nope. I couldn't do it. I want Laura back more than anything, but... I couldn't give the gunners what they were asking for. Even if it meant getting my kid back. I just couldn't betray you. Or Lupe, or even Aiden. <laughs> I couldn't turn my back on all the people who we formed a community with. You're a strong man, Jake. You're a strong man. Uh, I know there's more. I know there's more you want to say. Go on. So I figured, if I can't give the gunners the module in exchange for Laura, I'd offer them something else instead. I'd offer them me. Bruh. I mean, Wes wanted to capture me. Algernon did. Clearly, I represent some kind of value to the Gunners. And if they want to take something from us, well, let them take me. That's why I contacted the Gunners and came here. A prison in exchange. Me for Laura. What a strong man. Are you really, Are you willing to risk your life for this? Damn straight I am. I know what the gunners might do to me, but it's the right thing to do. And you're the one who's shown me that. Time and time again, you've always put others first, even when it meant risking your own life. Even by trying to follow the example you've set, I don't know if I can ever be half the person you are. But I... I want to try. You're a fucking champion, Jake. They're... You're okay with that? When I contacted them and presented the offer, the gunners did seem unsure. But it didn't take them long to agree to my terms. I reckon they figured with everything I know about Ace Sam's and the comm array, I'm far more valuable to them than a single component. Of course, I don't intend to tell them a damn thing. But they could find that out once Laura is safe and sound. That... I won't let you do this, Jake. Look, I don't mean to sound melodramatic, but the only way you'd be able to stop me is by putting a bullet between my eyes. Oh, God. I don't want to do that. I could never hurt you. I love you, but, like, as a bro. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Thank you. Listen, I can understand you not wanting me to do this, but you have to let me. Let me shoulder the burden this time instead of someone else. No. Are you certain this is the only way to end this? Well, I did think about maybe trying to trick the gunners. Give them the receiver module from the old vault hub instead. But there was no guarantee that would fool them. 
or that the Vault Hub module wouldn't be just as useful to him. But none of that matters. It's too late for any of that now. We don't have the time, even if we wanted to try. Uh, if that's the way you think it has to be. You, you can't be serious. Are you worried I'll sell us out to the gunners or something? Wait, what? You know me. You can trust me. Even on pain of death, I won't tell those bastards a damn thing. I don't. You have to let me do this. I don't think the thing I said was the thing I meant. Um, I guess this is goodbye. No, this is the end. Wait, what? Hold on. What is, what is this is the end? No, this is the end. Oh. I prefer. See you later. I hit the wrong one. Oh, well. Oh, and Slick. I'm glad that you came. Now then. I went and arranged the meeting here. So I could use the decon airlock as a sort of secure exchange area. The glass is bulletproof. It should ensure that the gunners don't try to double cross me. And if they do, I've set up security turrets as a failsafe. How did you discover this place? I was... I was looking for technology. That might help people improve their settlements. That's what led me here. And how I first learned about ASAMs. Damn, son. Are you sure this is safe? Honestly, no. Any number of things could go wrong. Which is why, even though I didn't want you to be, it's probably a good thing you're here to help in case things go south. You damn straight. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Wake up, mouse. That's the elevator. They're here. Hello. Hey, Captain, we got contact. Hmm. You're seriously the guy? guy? Hard, Hard to believe, believe we've, we've not found, found the last tape, tape yet because of someone like you. Tape? Hey, oh, yeah, the engram tape. From behind that glass and we can... Oh, God. Don't recall, recall giving, giving you permission, permission to speak, speak soldier. soldier. Oh. We agreed to meet alone, Evans. Not with your leader present. Explain yourself. They're just here to provide a little moral support. Don't worry, I still intend to honor our agreement. And I expect you to do the same. So, where's my kid? Where's Laura? Bring in the, Bring child. In the child. Laura! There she is. What have you done to her? She's sedated, but otherwise unharmed. Just as we agreed. Is she? She looks like she's standing. Make the exchange. Prepare to be taken into custody. Are you sure you want this? Sure as I've ever been about anything. I'm ready. I don't know about this, man. Sorry, Chief. The time for that kind of talk is over. This is happening. Oh, God. Uh, I got questions. Hold on. You're beginning to test my patience. But if it speeds up this exchange, go ahead. Ask. Uh, what do you want with him? Your partner will be used to further our goals. And that's as much as you need to know. Okay. Uh, how do I know you keep your end of the bargain? The child has no value beyond this exchange. And I have no wish for a daughter. Provided you give me what I want, the girl is yours. Okay. What if I say no? Then the child's continued welfare becomes a lot more uncertain. Now I know why they wanted a muffled, uh, a muffled track for those for those voiceovers. It makes sense, like especially if you're on this side, uh, and they're on the other side, you get that effect of like they're talking and you can hear them talking through the glass. But then you also get the uh, the radio voice. Um, hi everyone. Hey Azrael. Uh, I downloaded all the chapter packs for SS2 Chapter Three. I finished Chapter One. Uh, how long is the wait till I get the Chapter Two content? It should start. Pretty soon after, you have to progress through the main quest. Okay, yeah. Yeah, do that. Like, just keep, like, again, I, I'm pretty sure I said this before. Don't think of uh, uh, Sim Settlements 2 as, like, its own standalone thing that you can just, like, start and then just, like, keep working on that, like, solely. Like, you got to think of it as, like, an addition to the main game. So, like, play the main game, but then, like, keep doing Sim Settlements 2 stuff as it pops up. 
Um, okay. Uh, that's all I had. Oh, let me move the mouse up a little bit. That's all I had. Good. Now, time for the exchange. Is there a mod that, like, removes the, the mouse cursor during these dialogue exchanges? Because, like, it's, it's a little distracting sometimes, and it's like, you know, you just as easily use the mouse and keyboard for this section. Um, okay, uh, go ahead. Well, here I am. I'm gonna step into this decon area, and you put Laura inside of the other one. Was there an alternate- the exchange by pushing the button. Then I'll open and close the doors. Was there an alternate way this could have gone down? Could I have said no, and then- and then we wouldn't be doing this exchange. Where's the explode the building button? Whoops. Whoa. Hey, hello. I set up a radio broadcast for someone to come pick Laura up. But since you're here, I'll be relying on you to take her back to the HQ. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Push the button. Which one? There's a couple of them. What? Oh, okay. Uh... There we go. Uh, the alternative is worse. Okay, cool. Do you want it to hide the mouse cursor? Yeah, like just during like these dialogue things, like for the mouse cursor to just not be here. But then like I can still like, you know, it like if, if, if it's a thing where it's like I can't like it just disables the mouse here and hides it and I can't like shake to to get out of it. But I can still like, you know, move back and forth and you know, get out of, get out of conversation that way. Like, that's fine. I just want something that makes the, the mouse cursor go away in these instances. Cause it's, it's again, it's real distracting. Um, uh, good, uh, fucking good luck. You too, slick. I don't want to sell Jake. Oh, this is the button. Fuck you, Lamont. Uh, oh, wait. Gag him. Ready the prisoner for transport. Your partner's a fool. He betrayed himself for a mere child. I'm surprised you allowed this. Fuck you. Just what kind of leader are you? You're a bald bitch. Oh, there it is. Uh, I have different beliefs and different priorities. If I wanted your opinion, I'd ask for it. I'm the best, bitch. I see. Yeah. You're not quite what I expected. I'm glad I decided to lead this mission myself. It's allowed me to see my adversary in a new light. Just so that there's no ambiguity, I am Captain Lamont, leader of the Gunners. And you are in my way. I don't fucking care. You're a bitch. Are you going somewhere? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I know there's more you want to say. Go on. I'm aware you're receiving help from an outside source. But it won't be enough to stop us. Or save this pathetic commonwealth. There'll be nothing left of it but smoldering ash. Smoldering ash. God, what a fucking bitch. Why are you doing this? Because the commonwealth is stagnant, fractured, weak. If it wasn't, my forces would have already been defeated. But here we are, with the gunners still pushing down on your throat. We're blowing you shit up. Everyone that will remember and know the meaning of the name Lamont. <laughs> you know, you ought to be thanking me. My efforts to crush you have helped you to rise above the rest of the wasteland filth. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what happened with uh, uh, with the audio there, but you goofed. I goofed. What do you mean? Lamont sounds scarily like uh, the Major from Ghost in a Shell. Oh yeah, she does a little bit. Ooh, that's interesting. What did I? What did I goof on? What happened? Uh oh. Okay, so I got that. Cool. What did I goof up on? Ah oh, shit. Mention her condition. Well, I can still do it here. See? Your condition. I know. I don't think you understand the definition of help. 
Mention her condition. Or are you just saying mention her condition? What is this? Oh, that's that. Okay. No goof. Okay, cool. Should, like, just in case, I'm going to save it again. Because I'm going to do the top dialogue option. This one. And then I should still have access to this one. So, yeah. No goof. I misspoke. Okay, cool. Uh... I don't think you understand the definition of help, you dumb bitch. No. Oh. Are you not stronger for having fought this war? Have you not grown, adapted, become more capable? Oh. You needn't respond. The answer is already standing in front of me. Perhaps, once this is all done, your name will be remembered as well. Hmm. Oh, there was a, another audio thing there. I don't know if that was supposed to play or not. But the captions caught it. Um, your condition. I know. How could Berman? Exactly. When he defected, I knew he was up to something. Yes, quite well. So, he tried to curry favor by sharing my condition with you. I don't know how he found out, but it doesn't matter. Correct. I'll still have wiped out the Commonwealth before it becomes an issue. And if you think telling my troops will somehow undermine my control, you're mistaken. Anything they hear can be easily dismissed as wartime propaganda. If you thought revealing this would be an ace from up your sleeve, you thought wrong. There was another there was another audio glitch there. I don't I, I don't know if she skipped a voice line or not, but yeah. Uh, ooh, I can help you. Your compassion is misplaced. Besides, I'm winning. Soon, I'll have everything that I want. Did we succeed in that? <laughs> Your compassion is misplaced. Um, did, did, wait, did we, did we fail at that? Did we succeed? What just happened there? I'm going to try that again, just to be on the safe side, because it feels like we failed that, but I think a thing popped up that said we passed it. Uh, let's do the no. definition of help again. Are you not stronger for having fought this war? You won that check? Yeah, that's what I thought. Adapted. Become more capable. You needn't respond. The answer is already standing in front of me. Perhaps, once this is all done, your name will be remembered as well. My name will already be remembered because I'm fucking dope. I'm awesomer oh. than shit. Good. I saw the little vault boy. Right. I did too, so that's why I'm a little when confused. Expected, I knew he was up to something. So, he tried to curry favor by sharing my condition with you. I don't know how he found out, but it doesn't matter. Oh. I'll still have wiped out the Commonwealth before it becomes an issue. And if you think telling my troops will somehow undermine my control, you're mistaken. Anything they hear can be easily dismissed as wartime propaganda. If you yeah, there's that audio thing again. From up your sleeve, you thought wrong. I can help you. Whoops. No. Oh, goddammit. Are you not strong uh, for having fought this war? I don't know what happened, but I hit four and it did one for some reason. Become more capable. You needn't respond. Okay. The answer is already standing in front of me. I'm gonna hit the gritty. Once this is all done, your name. B O O H T H T T C. That's me. Oh, sorry. Um, I can help you. Okay. Yeah, it did that. I don't know what happened there. I can help you. Your compassion is misplaced. Weird. Okay. Besides, I'm winning. Just wanted to make sure that was good. I'll have everything that I want. Hit the gritty on him. Okay. Uh, I think it's time for you to leave. Before I depart, there's something I want you to know. You remember Captain Wes? Yes, of course you do. I do. Years ago, I was made his protege. He promised me control of the Gunners once he retired. 
Okay. But I knew that would take too long. Mm-hmm. So when your comm hub arrived at the plaza, and I was ordered to install it, I saw my chance. I took the liberty to add an extra component. Uh... A little something I acquired from home. When activated, it would have wiped out half the complex, killing Wes in the process. But your attack interrupted before I could finish. Thankfully, it didn't matter. You ended up doing the deed for me. You killed Wes. Hey, no problem. I'm now dead and the plaza fallen. Almost every surviving gunner flocked to me. Granting my long overdue promotion. And for that, I owe you thanks. Ain't no problem, dude. Oh, there we go. Uh, what difference does it make? I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Uh, I don't have any regrets. I made the right choice. Uh, what difference does it make? I suppose little in the end. Eventually, Wes would have died regardless. But you do realize. Wes was the only thing standing in the way of all this happening. Maybe. Our employer wants this region raised to the ground. Wes, absurdly, hoped he could save the Commonwealth by instead bringing it under gunner control. But I'm not Wes. And once we find the one last item our employer needs, raising this pitiful backwater of humanity is precisely what I'll do. It ain't backwater. You bitch! How dare you! You should, uh, you should just leave now. Uh, let's see what's that. Stay out of my way, I regret. This conversation is over. Uh, you should just leave now. We'll meet again, and next time there'll be no bulletproof glass between us. I look forward to it. You don't know that bulletproof bulletproof glass is surprisingly common around here. Boop, dumb bitch. I just think there's not going to be bulletproof glass. Guys, can you believe this? She doesn't think there's going to be bulletproof glass. How many times have we seen bulletproof glass around here? Hey, yo, what up, kid? Um. Oh. 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 Uh. Okay. I don't, I don't know what happened there. Hey, Laura. Oh. Are you ready to return to HQ with Laura? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that felt a little awkward. I don't know if something goofed there, if I goofed, but epic. That was a that was a that was a fun scene. I like that. Very good. Do 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 do. Now go talk to Rob. Uh oh. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> The delay fucking bit me in the ace. I think that I think there was an auto save that happened. Let me uh, let me hop back and see what uh, see what I can do. Okay, cool. Everybody, shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Ah, shaking fisted screen. Yeah, I don't understand what the what is happening with this delay. Like it's it like I've seen other people stream and like the delay is like like negligent, like almost zero. I don't know why my stream specifically is having that issue. I'm thinking maybe the VPN might be uh no. might be a part of it. Are you not stronger? But I'm not a hundred percent sure. Can I like walk away? Become more capable. Oh. You need respond. Okay. The answer is already standing in front of me. I hate the atrocious loading screens. As do I. I don't I don't really get why they're just black screens, you know? Like I kinda like I do, but at the same time it's like how come it's not anything else? Good. Hey kid. Oh, she's got that face thing going on. Uh, oh well, she'll be reloading. These two people are just fucking standing here too, just listening to us banter back and forth. I'll still have wiped out the Commonwealth before it becomes an issue. And if you think telling my troops will somehow undermine my control, you're mistaken. Most used word in games: loading. Exactly. Bethesda games especially. Yeah. 
this would be an ace from up your sleeve. I can't wait for like AIs and like supercomputers and shit to be more uh more common in gaming. Because then we'll have situations where like loading can be done like on the back end, you know? Maybe or maybe that'd be a maybe that'd be a hardware thing. Maybe it could be done as software. I don't know, but e either way, it's uh something to decrease or like cut out these loading screen shit. Yes, of course. Because it it takes it takes a long time sometimes, and it's boring. You promised me control of the gunners once you retire. I can't take too long. So when your comma arrived at the plaza and I was ordered to install it, I saw my chance. Oh, I don't care. I've already been here before. You're a bitch. I can't, I can't like... Oh. Oh. Thankfully, it didn't matter. You ended up doing the deed for me. You. That's interesting. And with him now dead, the plaza fallen. I don't know, I don't know what I activated there, but... It caused this part of the dialogue to skip, but not that part. So now there's a delay happening here. Ah, that was funny. Uh, what difference does it make? I suppose little in the end. Lamont lore, Lamont lore. Uh, there isn't an option. Oops. Oh, okay. Uh, there isn't an option for Jake to kill the captor here. Uh... Region oh wait, that there isn't an option for Jake to kill his captor here was messing with me when I played it. Like, there's no hidden button to flood the room uh, with knockout gas or lock them down to save Jake too. Yeah, maybe, but like, I don't know, this seems like one of those instances where it's like the plot like just needs to move forward and there's not a whole lot of... There's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, work around. Uh, you should just leave. We'll meet again. Not sure which mod it does, but I got a mod in my load order that deactivates the spinning item thing in the loading screen. Because unironically, it increases loading times. Really? If you can figure out which mod that is, uh, shoot that my way. Because as, as, as much of a bummer as it would be to just be sitting there... Fucking looking at a black screen, uh, it it like if it makes it go faster, like that's just way better. <laughs> bye, Jake. Bye, right, bye. All right, so go back up and talk to Rob. Talk to the robot. I'm coming, robot. I just immediately abandoned Jake's child. <laughs> the whole fucking reason we were here. Hey, yo, what up, Robco Rob? can't talk to him. Nothing happens. Unless you're talking about the standee up here. Which I don't I don't I don't I don't see why that why that would do nothing. Also this is a very deep building, like holy shit. What the fuck man? It's so deep. God what is happening with the lighting in here? Now my pit boy light doesn't work. It's it that's got to be like NACX or something like that. Hello there. I'm oh, she did follow me. Rob, Fantastic. Proud mascot of Robco Industries. Acting as the test bed for many of Robco's innovative. Oh yeah, I can't lift him up. I represent the pinnacle of industrial. Uh, uh Oh, does the elevator work now? The elevator is for Robco personnel only. Okay, the elevator works now. Of an emergency, please leave by the front entrance. Or hey, kid. The fire escape located Boop. In Where does this go, though? Quick, jump in the hatch. I thought he would talk to you. Does not seem so, no. Um. Uh. Hey, Jake. What, um... What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think he was supposed to be there. <laughs> Alright. 
Um. Cool. We'll just uh. Just we'll just wait for Laura to get back up here. <laughs> I did not expect Jake to still be there. He missed his uh. Missed his, missed his cue there. <laughs> oh God. Oh, hey Laura. Boop. Pretty sure whatever that face thing is happening there is gonna is gonna clear up. Jake bugged. <laughs> Rob should be a companion. Uh, I uh, Vic said or Sai said that um uh he I think he will be, but that like you know that's on the cork board. You know that's that's something that's that's gonna happen. Uh, but it hasn't happened yet. Um. But yes, he should be a uh, he should be a companion. Cyric doing uh, doing a bunch of standard voices like "Feel the wrath of Robco," and then he just fucking opens fire. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Your doctor said Laura should come around soon. Excellent. Still can't believe Jake handed himself over to those gunners. Yeah. When did he become such a selfless idiot? Oh, excuse me. Uh, don't worry. I'll get him back. Mom? Oh. Where's Dad? Hey, kid. I, I thought I heard his voice. Ah, he did. Your dad, he's... He's not here right now, sweetie. He got you back from those bad people who took us. And... Now... And now, we're off to get him back. Hell yeah. Not a companion, but he does have voice lines. Weird. I don't know why the voice lines weren't working then. Um, let me see if I can mess with the weather here. Um, oops. We'll do overcast. I'm just a regular overcast. Okay, that does change the weather in here. I don't. I don't know why, but for some reason, uh, the weather outside changes what the atmosphere in here looks like, which is why you saw all that stuff. Um, uh, what's going on here? What do you mean, what's going on here? All right, let's hear it. What's on your mind? Isn't it obvious? No. We put together oh. a rescue party. We're going to get our head of engineering back from those, those no good miscreants. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. YouTube, YouTube, please. D he said that. Don't cancel me, YouTube. Don't, don't demonetize me. I know, like, YouTube, please, please, please. YouTube, YouTube, listen, please. I, I need this. Please, please don't demonetize me. Don't strike my channel, please. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> He's out here saying fucking gamer words. Holy shit. Mansfield. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, He'd do the same for any of us. Plus, I can't wait to see the look on his face when he Lovely sees me. Cedric. Right save his sorry ass. <laughs> Only member missing of our little party is our leader. You ready? Uh, uh, isn't it the, isn't it that the engine thing where every speaker or voice requires the actor to play? Oh, you mean like what they did with the, um, uh, with the announcer at the beginning of Fallout 4 where like it's a video, but he technically has like a voice actor. Okay. Um... I don't know. Well, the issue for me is there just wasn't sound playing uh, for Ra. Like, I walked up to him and hit the thing, but there was no audio happening. Uh, why? No idea. But it does sound like at some point he will become a companion. So that's that's pretty dope. Um, is it so there would be weather seen when you look out the window and skylight? That is very likely. Um, I, think, I think just some... Uh, some lighting settings with some of the internal stuff because like it, it does it with like the fish tanks uh the fi the watercolor in the uh, in the fish tanks in the hallway will also change depending on the weather um yeah I don't know it's 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 very possible uh I don't know if we can pull that off uh I guess it's worth the risk let's do this yeah that's more that's more my speed it's worth the risk let's fucking rock we intercepted some radio chatter 
It was all in code, but we think we know where the gunners took Jacob. They're Jake. keeping him at one of their strongholds. Probably readying him for transport out of the Commonwealth. Sal and Cassandra will stay behind to hold down the fort. So let's get moving already. I'm coming with you. Laura will be safe here. And the more guns you got, the better your chances. Okay. Right behind you, Chief. Let's go get our friend back. Goddamn straight. Let's fucking bowl. Oh, come on. There we go. Eh. 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 Yeah. Right. Oh. The engineering department is pleased to announce that the ventilation systems have been repaired. Fantastic. All right. Uh, meet up with Aiden and the others before rescuing Jake. Uh, whoop. Hey, the HUD, the Hub City Auto Wreckers. That's okay. I wasn't expecting it to be there. I was expecting it to be in like Quincy or something, because, uh, because like one of the quests is titled um like the Battle of Quincy or something. Hmm. Well, either way, let's fucking do it. Uh, give me one second. Duh, I gotta respond to this real quick. Give me half a second. We're good there. We're good there. Good there. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Test. Test indeed. We see you. That's just two folks. Please let King Gath know the window glass in the atrium of the HQ is purple on Xbox Series S. I don't know about X. Interesting. That's the reason uh, King Gath said so on one of his streams. Wait. Oh, that is the reason King Gath said so on one of his streams. Uh, the fact that it is changing the color of the water might be an uh knack x yeah that's that's most likely what i'm thinking it changed a lot of uh uh lighting and um uh environmental stuff and that just it just so happens to affect like the glass and shit let's jump over to the parking pier weird my previous message did not go through said error try again weird that must have just been a um uh a like a a browser not browser connectivity thing, but like a chat connectivity thing, like a like a hiccup in the in the connection. That's weird. All right, whoops, sorry. Fucking smacking the microphone and everything. I need to get a fucking. Uh, I need to like. I need to get some money and then buy a fucking um. Like a shotgun mic. That way, I don't need to have the mic like three inches from my face. Oh. Hello, Vertibird. Whoops. Excuse me. Ow. Is that a gunner? That is a gunner. Gunner conscript and fucking armor. Our armor? What the fuck? Well, he's dead now, but like... Gee whiz. Oh. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna hit you with that blast. Blast! Oh, come on. I could have gotten that. Where you at, gamer? Ow, oh, fuck you. Stand off time. Show yourself, you bastard. I see ya. Oh, dick shot. That's unfortunate. Hit. Oh, hit. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Smack it like it owes you money. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I am a bit worried for Fallout Miami since the devs seem to hate the Enclave a lot, and since the mod has Enclave in it, I fear another Frontier situation. What the fuck do you mean the devs hate the Enclave? That's the GNRCC thing. 
where you fly to GNN in DC. Oh, this is the this is the the Fallout 3 thing. We go over here and we hop on to we hop onto this guy and then we're in DC. Oh, that's dope. Let me let me run up here real quick and just take a look see here. I need a mod to incorporate those DC outfits uh, without having to fly to DC. Oh no, yeah. Those are uh, the outfits are really good. Uh how you're supposed to get in there. Oh, there's a note here. Aqua Piora. Whoa, hey, 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 listen, listen. Whoops! Uh-oh. Sorry. Oh, she's fine. Very good. Hit. 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 Okay. So, I guess we just do a note for that or something. Or just read the note. Uh, boy, it probably would have been a good idea to read what it what the note was actually called. Oh, here it is, Sparrow's note. Well, this sucks. We came here from DC to get help. Uh, talent company Mercs attacks GNR station, and the Brotherhood for uh, was forced to scatter. Our asses were exposed, and the only hope we had was the radio. We sent out an SOS, and everybody, anybody asking for help and fight a good fight. Commonwealth responded, but it turns out that these gunners weren't down for the cause. I would have. Uh, been a dead woman if I didn't come. Okay. If I didn't come in for a slow landing, might have been a dead woman. Might still be a dead woman, given that it's still on my six. In fact, if you're reading this, that means my corpse is too cold for stim pack, So this letter will have to do. If the good fight means something to you, then take this bird and fly off to the Capital Wasteland, save GNR from the town company mercs, and shut down the radio before they get in the air. <sighs> and if you see the good man, tell him I'm sorry. Okay, now we can actually fly the vertebird. Yep, okay, that's dope. I'll have to I'll have to check that out at some point. Cause I never did. And it seems pretty dope. Uh they make fun of it a lot in their server and seem to ban Enclave folks who don't advocate for anything crazy quite a lot. I don't know. I don't know what you're I don't know what you're talking about. But it doesn't sound like anything that has to do nothing with me. Uh, who am I talking to? Cedric? Oh. Hey, Aiden. Is that Aiden? It is. What up, dude? Oh! Sick! This looks like a place. Let's find Jake. So they're just joining us in the fight. Kill the gunners holding Jake prisoner. You got it. All right, so we got these dudes, and is the whole whole team here? No, nope, you're just passing Minutemen. Where are the rest of the guys? Or are these guys? Or are these guys just part of the thing? Either way, we're gonna do this the goodly and properly way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Hub City Auto Wreck. Okay. Oop. Okay, I guess they're too far away. Oh, got him. What? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> this is a cow up there. <laughs> the fuck you doing up there, you little bastard? All right. Oof. The fight begins. Perhaps a little, a little too early. We should probably wait for the rest of the army to get here. You, you guys, you guys, you guys get started on that. Oh god. Didn't see that assault run. <clears throat> Lupe is down. Settler is down. Yes. 
Where's the rest of my army? My kingdom for an army. Hey, Lupe. Berman has revived Settler. Berman is down. Caitlin is down. Settler is down. Boy, it probably would have been a good idea to wait till the army shows up for this shit, wouldn't it? Oh, God. But no. Critical strike on Settler. There the... What fit? Oh, come on. Where the fuck is my army? What is even happening? Are they on the... They're on... Wait, what? I think the first person you shot was one of your own. What, like an actual army guy? Cause, whoops. Wait, what, um. Uh. You're not supposed to capture it. The crew from your HQ is your army in this quest. Oh. Uh. Are you sure? Because there's a lot of fucking dudes here. And I don't see how, like, Nine people... Okay. <laughs> I don't see how nine people were supposed to take this place solo. Not even nine people. There's like six of us. I do not feel as if that was... That was supposed to happen. I... It... it okay, we're just gonna load in on this one. Uh... Was that one? Yeah, it's that one. Attack it, you goofball. I can't. There's like fucking 70 fucking gunners over there. And they're going to immediately waste my ass. Like, that's why I need the fucking army here. So that they can fucking help. Fucking make this an even fight instead of an all-out slaughter. <laughs> be better skill issue. Shut up. <laughs> We're fucking outnumbered to shit. There was no being better in this situation. It was just getting dead. So, let's try this again. Hey, yo, what up, Aiden? This looks like the place. Let's find Jake. Okay. Yeah, so it says join the assault. And so that's that's just talking about us. The the six of us. Two, me and Aiden. Eh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven
Take him out. Oh, come on. Shooting through a window. Whoa. Okay. That dude just fucking ashed my settler. is not helping me here. Or at least the lighting isn't anyway. Oh, okay. Ah, dicks. I got you. I got you. Never mind. Don't got you. You bitch. Quit moving. It's very rude. Oh my god. Oh, uh, there we go. Ah, fuck. Oh, God. This house is literally the only thing protecting me from being dead. Oh, okay. This works. The lighting's not helping me any much. Right, where are you at? There you are. <clears throat> Dick bag or the cow go? I swear to God. Okay, he's fine. Don't you do it. Okay, one more. Got him. Okay, maybe not one more, but like a couple more. Hey Aiden. You wanna you wanna go and get everybody else? That'd be a real gamer move. Up there? What the fuck? No, come on. Yeah, there are gunners up there. What the fuck, dude? Okay. Yeah, so it looks like they're mostly just the guys up there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Loop right, come here. Oh, right, I can't. Oh. Okay, that works. What about everybody else? Uh, okay, we're good. We lost the veteran Minuteman. F's in the chat for the veteran Minuteman, guys. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, jeez. Okay, one of ours. Whoop! Bam! No, not yet. Still got a couple more dudes to take out. Oh, 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 bam! Oh, come on. Now that you softened them up, it's time to storm the basin. And they're the best, the best young. Indeed. Mm. Okay. Don't want to get shot. Because if I get shot and die, that means the entire conflict is over. Ooh. I, whoa! Excuse me. Pardon. Don't mind me. Just trying to live my life. 
Oops, okay. <laughs> That's not gonna help. Whoop! Oh, jeez. Good thing I fell, or I would have fucking landed right in the face of that grenade. Here! Let's hit the stim pack. Okay. Let's try that again. Uh, can we go up that way? No, that's just a wall. Oh, God. Good shot, Mansfield. Did you guys see that? Damn. Very well done. Good job, everybody. You all completely carried the team. Wow. Amazing. Okay, so they're up there. So we need to get up that way. Oh, okay. Captain Bridget. Was that somebody who was here before, or, uh, was that, is Captain Bridget a vanilla character, or is that somebody that got added with Sim Settlements too? Uh, how do I let the bridge down? There, okay. Here we go. Uh, crane control. Lower crane. She's been, she's been, she's vanilla. Before EI, vanilla. Okay, that's why it was extra hard then, because there was, uh, there was already a pre existing gunner camp, uh, there was already a pre existing gunner group here. So it added on to the ones that were added here for Sim Settlements too. Okay. Got it. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Yoink. And yeet. Bitch. That's <laughs> that's actually real funny because I one of the uh one of the actual complaints that I had about Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 2 uh is one, I forget his name. But there's a uh, there's an ex CPD officer, um, in uh, there's an ex CPD officer in Concord. After you get it all built up and everything, and he's all like, "Oh, they killed my wife. Now we're gonna go on a murder spree. I hate the gunners. I'm Batman, but I'm not. I'm just a dude." Um, and he sends you to different locations where uh, you're supposed to find and kill like a singular bad guy. But, um, the problem is, if you've already been to those locations before and killed everybody, there's just the singular dude there. So, <laughs> fucking, like, I, there, I, it was, it was on a highway somewhere, uh, where there normally are, like, other gunners and bad guys and stuff, um, and I, you know, I, I almost ran completely past him because he was, like, on an offshoot where normally there's supposed to be a whole bunch of guys on the, on the, on the highway, but they weren't because I was been, I'd been there before and I'd killed them all. And there was just him. And one of my companions actually killed him and I didn't even notice him. Uh, so it, I think I even said in my review, it like, they're like really, some of them are like really easy to miss. And like others are just like, not even like very well defended. Um, because they kind of relied on, like, the vanilla guys being there. Or maybe not relied on, but, like, kind of expected it to still be there, potentially. Um, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, that's the Finch Farm. God, we were right there, too. Right next to our fucking, our fucking settlement. Um, but yeah, I, like, I just remember that being a, um, uh... I just remember that being a uh, commentary that I made. And then it's real funny because now I'm seeing, or at the very least, potentially, I'm seeing uh, the exact opposite of that. Where <laughs> where they add more dudes to the vanilla, loca vanilla locations, but if you haven't been there already, then there's a lot more dudes there. Which, in certain situations like, uh, like the junkyard here, makes absolute sense. Um... But then that just makes it extra hard, <laughs> which is fine. I I I am I am always willing to admit I am woefully underskilled for uh, 
or under leveled for for uh for all this stuff uh so it was definitely added it was definitely an extra bit harder because of that um but i just think that's really funny hopefully this auto save is actually auto saving and not auto crashing okay very good i am going to save it right here just to be absolutely sure Boom. Gunners are based, but only because Sim Settlements gave Gunners a purpose. That's fair. The Sim Settlements did act, did make the uh, the Gunners pretty fucking dope. Bloop. Uh, Jake, did you get the shit kicked out of you again? This is starting to become a habit. It really is. Me getting nabbed by Gunners, you saving my sorry ass. Quite so. You know, I really was ready to go with them. I wasn't expecting you to come rescue me. Did he always have a pit boy? I was ready to face the music. Pay my dues. I won't leave you here. I take care of my friends. Um, uh, I won't leave you here. Yeah, I guess not. But I'm grateful you went along with my prisoner exchange plan regardless. Well, that said, I can't say I was looking forward to being shipped off to the gunner's main compound. So, I do appreciate the timely emancipation. No problem, bro. It's real good to see you again. You too. Mm -hmm. Forgetting someone, Jake? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you too, Aiden. <laughs> and everyone else as well. Thank you. Hey, you included me in this little oven? Well, considering you abducted me once. And after this, I guess we'll call it even. <laughs> Caitlin. I see you came as well. How's Laura? She all right? She's fine, Jake. She's waiting for you back at your HQ. Nice. He did. Okay. I I, I don't know why it stood out to me so much. <laughs> I, I thought he didn't. Um, obviously. Um, okay. Uh, are we done? Let's get you home. We'll escort Jake back. Make sure he doesn't surrender himself to any more gunners. <laughs> You're free to join us if you like. Ugh, mm, excuse me. Uh, is everyone all right? I... I think so. No critical injuries, at least. Although, I do seem to be developing a scratchy throat. That's all right. A scratchy throat? <laughs> that sounds serious. When we get back, we'll get Cassandra on that right away. Uh, thank you, I... Oh, you're making fun of me again, aren't you? Hell yeah. Also, I, this was Mansfield's first actual actual fight. He's holding up pretty well for somebody who's in his first firefight where he could have actually died. Very good, Mansfield. Uh, thanks for backing me up. Uh, don't mention it. We weren't about to leave one of our own to the gentle care of the gunners. Still, I wish we didn't have to kill as many as we did. Uh, boo-hoo. If they wanted to live, they shouldn't have gone that way. Very good. I'm li I'm, I'm, Berman's growing on me now. Uh, lead on. Do we fast travel there? No. Oh. Uh-oh. Jake. Oh, three Oh, my God. Wait, wait, what's happening now? Jake, you're a little, you're a little stuck there, bro. Oh, wait. Oh. Eh. Jake is returning to HQ, talk to him in the array room. Okay, so this is just like when Preston Garvey heads to Sanctuary from uh from Concord. I can let time pass somewhere and uh uh and and fix shit that way. Okay, dope. That makes sense. I would imagine. He just fucking runs into the gate. <laughs> uh oh, Jesus. Alright. Uh, let me double check here real quick. What quest are we on now? We are on Belated Returns. Let me check the wiki real quick, just to get my barons. Do, do, do. Belated Returns. Oh, there it is. That is a special quest. Okay. Yoki. So What the fuck?
Hold on. Wait a fucking minute. Hold 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 on. Like, <laughs> hello, follower Toshi. Twitch is committed to keeping our community safe for everyone, and as a part of that, we require all users to ensure that anything shared on their account abides by Twitch's terms of service and community guidelines. Based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a community guideline strike on your account. Due to the severe nature of this violation, or the fact that you've incurred multiple violations, your access to Twitch services is indefinitely restricted. Reason botted or automatic account? What the fuck? <laughs> I took, uh, what the fuck? I got, I got suspended on Twitch? Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going to fucking submit an appeal. Wow, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Um Okay, now I can't be less than 3 hours late because I do I have school to do now. No big, no big. It is is it a spam mail? No, that's that's from this is that's straight up from fucking twitch.com. Yeah, this is all this is all legitimate. I went to I went to Twitch, tried to log in and everything. Your account is currently suspended. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Alright. Uh Dude, everyone seriously leave Twitch. I mean like fucking if if this appeal doesn't get fucking if I if I don't get uh if this appeal doesn't go through and I'm just like no, yeah, this isn't uh this is this is fake or like this is this is bullshit. Um yeah. It's uh, <laughs> I I well, I won't have to leave Twitch because I won't be allowed on Twitch because they fucking banned me for having a botted account, which makes no sense. What's up? I've been distracted. I just got an email like a minute ago from like I just so happened to check my uh, my email and just yeah, just like five minutes ago, I got an email from Twitch saying that my account's been uh, indefinitely suspended because it's been flagged as a botted account, which unless somebody fucking hacked my Twitch and was using it to fucking shill crypto or whatever uh, is definitely not the case. I haven't used it to stream in like fucking a week. <laughs> Uh, so unless you were planning to get streams with bathtubs set up or sell your bath water, chill out. Exactly. Not a big fan of Twitch, uh, to be honest. It, like, it's fucking seeming that way. I mean, it's starting to fucking lean that way for me, too. Like, what the hell? I've got two accounts to spend for no reason. Sounds like a vague strike, uh, and they're terrible. Yeah, also that. Uh... Did you do an I show I show meet where you weren't you weren't looking? <laughs> well, that's a that's a good thing about being a PNG slash VTuber. You fucking your dick can't accidentally fall out. It has to purposefully fall out. And as far as I know, I haven't been purposefully flipping my dick out on stream. <laughs> oh God, I show speed is in so much shit for that. Uh, on the other hand, they'll let hot tub, uh, girls stay on indefinitely. Yeah. I, I even posted a thing about that on Twitter. Some, like there was this one account that like has like a million fucking subscribers. Right. And they, um, 
uh, she at, on two separate occasions, I've, I've flipped over to Twitch and then seen her doing like, you know, body paint stuff, which is like, you know, all well and good, but it's, it's powerfully obvious that she's like just doing it for, uh, for, for like lewd baiting. Like she's always only painting her chest or at least any, any of the times that I've seen it. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's a development. So that's super cool. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. All right. Well, there's, there's nothing I can do besides, uh, submit an appeal. So we'll just, uh, we'll just that, let that do its thing for now. And we'll, uh, we'll jump back into the, into the stream here. Um, what am I doing here? Nothing. I was using it to teleport somewhere else. Uh, where is... Are they back here? Yes, they are. Dope. Bloop. Which used to be uh, just for gamer stuff. It's sad now. I mean, it's a good thing that they've uh, expanded into allowing uh, like other unique things. Uh, vlogging, dancing, cooking. Uh, some of them get real wild and do like uh, uh, DIY construction and stuff like that. Like Streaming yourself doing literally on anything on Twitch is a really cool. Th oh, my sunflower is blooming. Oh, hell yeah. I just looked in my garden. My sunflowers are starting to bloom. Bloom. Finally. Um, but yeah, like it, it's it. <laughs> like there's certain things where it's like, that's probably not something that you should be allowing on your platform, especially when the minimum age to enter your platform is 13 years old. Like. I don't, mm, 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 nah, nah, if, if the, if the age to enter, enter is 13, you shouldn't be allowing people to do like 18 plus shit on there. That's, that's, that's fucked up. Squirrel. It like, it really do be like that though. But like, I've been waiting for my sunflowers to bloom for a while and they finally did. Or they, they, they are now. Sunflowers are awesome. Uh, I have a huge tall wall of them in my yard or my neighbors have a huge tall wall of them in their yard. That's very cool. That's very dope. Um, okay. Let's... Oh, Jake has to be over there. Jake, can you stop getting stuck on shit? Grid 15020F21. Oh, he figured it out. Sunflower blooming. Twitch, cho Twitch choice words. Exactly. That's what Twitch has become, little little sunflower child. Uh, so where is it? Move to flare. I think it's actually a space instead of a dot. There you go. Jake got a little stuck there. He figured it out. Just give him a sec. He teleported. I didn't have a second. We're doing this shit now. Hey, good timing. Thanks. I was just getting ready to talk to Laura. Although I don't mind admitting my nerves are starting to get the best of me. Well, yeah, you've been, he's been kidnapped twice and he just got his daughter back and he's almost died a hundred times over. Of course your nerves are getting to you, bro. It's been so long. Oh, what if Laura, I mean, do you think she'll be happy? Well, you know, to see me again. Wh oh, what the f um, excuse me, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I just like, <laughs> okay, um, interior nav cut fix might fix that pathing. I have it though. I have that installed. Maybe I need to, uh, maybe it's something that like, well, no, did I have it installed when I started? I don't, I don't remember. I, I have it installed though. So we're, we're good there. Um, and if they're going to do 18 plus stuff on it, uh, they should have it to where you have to sign into that stuff. Uh, so your random 13, so your random 13 year old doesn't, uh, stumble upon it. I mean like, yeah, maybe, but if you're doing like 18 plus stuff, you probably shouldn't be on a, you know, a, if, if Twitch wants to do 18 plus stuff, whatever, that's fine. But they can't make the age requirement for being able to set up an account 13. That's fucked up. 
It's the orange juice from last week. Your mouse is cursed. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, shit, what was the question? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. You think? Oh, I hope so. Oh, yeah, he's nervous about talking to his kid. Oh, stomach's got all a flutter. Don't worry, Jake, you're okay. Caitlin went to get Laura. She should be here any second. You got it. Or they could just have a whole different website for that stuff. Either or. Oh, shit. Oh, look how big you've gotten. A hugging animation. I can't believe it. Here you are. I missed you, Dad. Oh, that's nice. I miss you too, sweetheart. More than you could ever know. That was nice. Caitlin, I think we need to have some words. Figure things out. Because I can't lose Laura again. I, I can't let you take her away from me like you did before. Dad? It wasn't Mom who... Sweetheart, sweetheart, I want to hear everything you got to say. But first, I need to talk to your mother. There's a lot she needs to answer for. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why Jake fucking walked around me. Uh, What do you want to talk about? A lot of things. But mostly, why Caitlin kidnapped Laura, leave me high and dry in Sanford... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Just shut up and listen. Uh, you should listen to what she has to say. I will. It's just... No, you're right. I'm being dismissive. Okay, buttercup. I'm listening. What is it you wanted to tell me? Dad, I'm... I'm the reason we left. Mom didn't kidnap me. I asked her to take me from Sam. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Why would you... Everyone... Everyone there hated us. Even when I was little, they... They all said horrible things about you... And Mom... And me. They blamed us for what happened to Sanford. And they were right. Growing up, I I just felt so bad. And whenever I asked if we could help people, help the town get better, you just ignored me. You wouldn't even listen to Mom. You just kept saying you were doing what was best for me. But that wasn't true. Uh, <laughs> Keep going, keep talking. Please, go on. <laughs> you were just so angry at the town. I kept begging Mom to talk to you, convince you to buy back the water plant, fix it. But you wouldn't. It's like you wanted to watch Sanford fall apart. I hated it. Seeing people hurt. No one, everyone hated us. Hated me. So I asked Mom to take me away. Find a new settlement where people were nice to each other. Somewhere where I wouldn't feel so bad. The voice actor for Laura is a real kid. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Uh, he didn't tell me that. I'm sure Dad just saw things in a different way. I know he was mad at the town. I never met Grandpa. He died to save Sanford. But when his water plant broke, the town didn't help. I expected Dad to fix it all. Dad said he was okay with Grandpa's death, but he could never get over how the town responded. It made him real sad. And then Dad ended up making everybody else feel just as sad. Is that true? <sighs> Pretty much. You gotta understand, Laura's a sweet kid, real empathetic. From an early age, she understood what was happening to Sanford and its people. And indirectly or not, she knew Jake was the root cause of it. She did her best to coax him into action, try to persuade him to shoulder the town's burden. But Jake wasn't having any of it. So Laura turned to me. Thought maybe I could convince Jake. 
Why did they hate you so badly? Jake's father, Jack, was never interested in profit. He charged just enough for his water to pay his workers' wages and maintain the plant. Mm -hmm. Cheap and readily available water helped Sanford grow. But as demand rose, so did the costs. And Jack had to raise prices just to break even. Mm -hmm. Folks weren't too happy about that. From then on, Jack, his family, and all the workers at the plant were seen as greedy fat cats, only caring for profit. So when the plant broke, the town refused to pay for repairs. And when Jake had to sell the plant, that just made things even worse. There was a lot of hate from both sides. I married into that hate. And Laura ended up inheriting it. Jake dropped the ball. Bullshit. A community helps each other. Jake needed help and the town said fuck you. Saying fuck you back is not wrong. Yeah, I'm not exactly seeing... Maybe maybe I need to maybe I need to go back and reread some stuff and like follow up on like what the what Jake's side of the story is there, but like yeah, that seems that seems like kinda bullshit. Like Jack is needy like he gets he uh Jake's Jake's dad, he gets the, the water plant all set up, he's uh selling water, paying people, um, but he's not, you know, trying to trying to cut a profit or anything. And then, like, his demand grew, uh, his needs and expenses grew, his product becomes a little bit more expensive, and the town gets upset with that. It's like, well, like, that that's that's how that works, right? Like, if if, if, if you, if, if the demand grows and there's more people that need water, you have to, you know, give the water. And if people aren't, you know, if they want to get paid for their work, like, you need to increase the price of the water that's being sold so it's like what the hell like ow, whoa hello my arm really hurts hold on a sec ow, muscle thing ah that was weird um but yeah i i don't really get why the town got all fucking pissed off or at least for legitimate reasons i mean like i get like price of water is more expensive but like i don't know that that's that's weird uh, obviously Caitlin didn't respect Jake or she wouldn't let a child make her decision for her. Jake should feel like she stole his child away. Well, I mean, he does, but like, I, I don't like, obviously Caitlin didn't respect Jake or she wouldn't let a child make her decision for her. Like she didn't. Caitlin noticed, ow, God, what is happening with my arm muscle here? Caitlin or, uh, uh, Laura noticed a problem and uh, recognized that Jake was a part of the problem and when no solution could be found by having by trying to get her mom to talk to talk to Jake it's like you know what other option can you have or what other options are there right uh, I'm sorry to hear that a few years after that Laura asked if we could move away from Sanford she wanted to start over. Oh, the whole family move. I asked Jake about it. Said we should find a better settlement for Laura. Mm -hmm. That she deserved no less. But Jake was as stubborn as ever. He refused to leave. It was a difficult choice. But I could see what all of this was doing to Laura. She needed somewhere better. Somewhere kinder. Oh, okay. The end of that cut off there. Uh, Laura said she made mama take her to a place where people liked her. Yeah, because when you live, when you're a child, when you're, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to insinuate that Laura is a, uh, uh, a very smart kid and very empathetic, which is, well, that, they said that outright. So it's like, she recognizes that in order to grow up happy and healthy and, you know, responsibly and stuff, you can't be in a place where everybody fucking hates you. So, you know. Not being in a place where everybody hates you is the correct decision. <laughs> it's it's the right thing. Oh, God, why does my arm hurt? It's a muscle thing. I, I don't know why, though. I've never had this specific muscle twinge like that. Um, 
I'm fine though. I'm not gonna like fucking drop dead or anything. Uh, sounds like he had a rough time of it back there. Yeah. I mean, others had it a lot worse. At least we had food, and clean water, and our roof didn't leak, and enough caps. But that kind of made everything worse. Mm. We only looked after ourselves and ignored everybody else. It sort of made everyone's hate feel fair. I get that. They had good reason to be angry with us. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah, that just sounds like a fucked up situation all around. Um, kid, you did what you had to do. Uh, I'm sure he had his reasons. Yeah, I did. But I think even back then, I knew those reasons weren't exactly the greatest. Laura, I am so sorry. I knew you were sometimes unhappy. That's why I focused my efforts on you and not Sanford. Mm. But you hit the nail right on the head. I didn't listen. I didn't want to listen. What? But things are different now. I've been hearing a lot from the people who work here. About, about how you wouldn't give those gunner people what they wanted. Just to get me back. You didn't do it, cause, cause, it would have hurt the folks around you, right? Well, yeah, of course. And you've been making people's lives better, like you were saying on the radio. I know it's true, cause, look at everything you've done. I can't take all the credit. I've had a lot of good people helping me. I couldn't have done it without them. We've. We've built up a real fine community. That's all I ever wanted. You to help people. Do, do you think maybe one day we could do all this at Sanford too? I know we could. Come here, sweetheart. Do the hug animation again. Ah. Uh, <laughs> he actively walks away. I let my hurt feelings cause so much trouble. But I promise, from now on, no more of that. Uh, poor Jake, though. The town wanted him to bear the weight of the problems. Probably why he's uh, a problem solver now and obsessed with ASAMs. No, yeah, it seems like that's that's the story that's trying to be told here. Uh, there was problems with the community, and because of Jake's position as the son of the person that basically made the town run... Um, he was expected to do everything to make the town work and to make, uh, make their little community work. And Laura, or, well, he didn't want to do that because he recognized that that was going to cause a lot of stress for his daughter. And so instead he put his daughter over his, over the community and that in turn caused more problems for her because that caused the entire town to resent them thus resulting in her recognizing like, hey, this isn't a sustainable situation. Mom, can you do anything? Can you talk dad out of, you know, uh, uh, talk dad into doing more to help the community? Um, Jake's, she said yes. Jake said no. Uh, Mom told Laura like, hey, I don't think it's going to happen. So she's all like, okay, cool. Mom, can we try to move the family somewhere else? Uh, and it seemed like Jake was maybe a little bit receptive to receptive to that, but also a little bit hesitant and Caitlin figure like, Hey, okay, this probably isn't gonna work out. Let's just take Laura and get out of here. Cause you know, she wants, or Jake wants what's best for her. Uh, chapter four, Jake and the crew return to Sanford, uh, to build it back up with the ASAMs, new world space, new enemies, uh, new BBEG. I don't know what a BBEG is, but, uh, that does seem almost like the natural evolution. Like, I don't know if I don't know if anybody in the chat knows who Zorkaz is. Uh, he's a modder on the Nexus. He's made a lot of uh, a lot of world space mods and a lot of other uh, a, like a lot of other mods. Um, one of the mods that he made is a mod called the Forest, which, if I remember correctly, is literally just a big forest with like 
meadows and valleys and stuff. And it's just, uh, like, it's about the size of Nuka World, if I remember correctly. And there's no, like, there, there, as far as I remember, there's no marked, there's like a couple of marked locations. But besides that, there's like no people, there's no quests. Um, it's just, you know, you just go out there and you just walk around and explore and you're just in nature. The natural progression from Sim Settlements 2 to Sim Settlements 3 or Chapter 4 or whatever would be to go to a big open world space. I think I actually talked about this before on a different stream. The next like upgrade from this would be going to a big brand new world space that just has like a bunch of locations that are, uh, you know, that are settleable. And then, like, there's nobody in, like, there's nobody in, there's no NPCs or anything except for the NPCs that you bring in. So, like, unique settlers, uh, regular settlers and stuff like that. You can, you start at one settlement and then, you know, you you build a radio beacon, you start bringing uh, people in. Um, and then, as, as they did with uh, Sim Settlements 2, like, the entire thing, 1, 2, and 3... Uh, unique settlers show up, they give you quests, they become settlers, and then, you know, as you grow a little bit bigger and bigger, kind of like what they did with the Minutemen, at some point, uh, it starts an actual, uh, like, bigger story quest thing. Uh, you start getting the idea, like, oh, hey, we should be setting up some sort of, like, group for the region, or we should be setting up some sort of, um, you know, like, small town government, or, like, regional government, or whatever. And then, like, a big raider group shows up or, like, an oppositional group that's not inherently hostile but has different ideas about how to do things. And then, like, the story grows from there. Obviously, there's a lot of um, uh, all of the, like, side quests and stuff could be very, like, dynamic and, like, one offshoot things like we see in Sim Settlements 2. Um, but the grander story could trigger at a certain point once you get large enough and the overarching theme could be about, you know, just, like community working together building something bigger and just like the struggles of making a community and a society go from like absolutely nothing to you know something big and grandiose and i think that would be really cool that would feel like the next actual like leap from uh what sim settlements 2 has already built um chapter 5 laura turns into raider princess instead and slays all of those who are mean to her Exactly. That's how chapter four is gonna be. We're not gonna we're not gonna go back to Stanford and fix it all up. We're gonna go back to Stanford and fucking Jammer's gonna show up and we're gonna fucking raid the place. <laughs> uh uh BBEG, big bad evil guy. In chapter three, Lamont is the BBEG. Okay, that makes sense. Nexus has so much potential for all of its possibilities. It really does. Sombre Mountain is also cool. I've been meaning to play that one as well. Who needs Fallout 5? I know, right? Um, okay, um, I'm just glad that you're all fan that you that you and your family are safe now. <laughs> and I wonder who I have to thank for helping with that. Hey, um, I think me, Kaylin, and Laura need to talk for a bit, and that I need to make more than a few apologies. I'll catch you later, okay? Oh, and Slick. Yeah. Thank you for helping me get my daughter back. For Helping see there's better ways of doing things, and thank you for well everything. No problem, Jake. You're a real pal. Hell, you're my best friend. Hell yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. Best friend status with Jake. I've done everything I need to do. I no longer have to play video games. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's oh, auto saving. Uh, hell yeah. Very epic. I feel like there there was a little bit of facial animation thing going on with her eyes. It seemed like the tops of her eyelids weren't properly connected. I don't know if that's just on my end or what, but I noticed that and that was it's a little weird. Um, okay. I need like Fallout 4 extended or remake of Fallout 3. Exactly. Jake needs a companion perk. Yes, companion perk for companion. Companion. <laughs> companion perk for Jake best friend uh jake is now my best friend friendship with dog meat ended jake is now my best friend like that's the name of the perk 
Um, okay, so nothing else has popped up yet. Um, I would imagine that at this point we just keep taking, uh, keep taking settlements. That seems like what we're going to do. Especially since we only have, like, this tiny section set up here. Um, so let's do this. We'll go to Jamaica Plains and then we'll take on, uh... Niponset Park. Niponset. Nipissent. Nipissent Park! Uh, Jake needs a companion perk. Uh, he's, uh, he's not a companion fully, uh, but this would have been the perfect spot to have one. It really would have. It would have been a, it would have been a really good spot to have, uh, have him be all like, yeah, if you need any help, uh, you know, let me know, and then you can go on adventures with him. Can one be evil in SS2? No. No, you may not. <laughs> Ugh. Red River Valley. Do 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 do. Okay, so that's good. All righty, Roo. Mm, excuse me. Uh. Cool. So, yeah, I guess we just keep taking, uh, keep taking locations, like that one, until we get, uh, um, until we get to the next loc- or until the next thing pops up. Why do you always go to the Institute? Force of habit. I don't like, uh, I don't like fast traveling in the game. Um, whoops. Oh, well. I don't like- Oh god, what the fuck? I don't know what happened there. Um, it's his lord that he uses the institute relay to fast travel. It's that, and it's a combination of I like the way that I naturally play the game. I don't like using uh, the fast travel functionality because I like the I like the experience of walking from place to place. Um, when I unlock the institute uh, relay. You know the 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 molecular relay in order to transport from place to place. It's like, why would I not do that, right? <laughs> like, easy peasy. I don't got to go walking from point to point no more. It's the same with the um uh with the vertebrate signal grenades. Whoa, hello. Once I have access to those, um, this is a really good spot, uh, to to set up. If it'll actually allow me to. Tag people? What the fuck? They're right there. There's like a bunch of them. What the hell? Oh, that's very rude. I have never gotten this close to any gunner before. Why won't you let me tag them? What the fuck? You can use plot caravans to fast travel. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But that's only between other um uh that's only between other locations though. So I wouldn't be able to use it to fast travel to like um uh to to a location like nearby where I got to go unless it's a settlement. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't do it from over there. Invisible wall or something. Whoops, that's not what I pressed. <laughs> Here I go, Merkin settlers again. You goddamn straight. They get in my way, they get blasted. They get the clamps. Well, you know, the clamps. But like, it's like the pew pew. Uh. If a mod adds a location with a workshop, uh, I can have settlers in it. Can I place ASAMs there? You should be able to, yeah. Or can it only do vanilla SS2 ones? No, yeah. It's any any settlement. It just adds it as it just adds the uh, the ASAM plots as settlement tools. The only thing you won't be able to do uh, is install. Um, uh, yeah, Side just said it. Uh, 
I think you could do, I think you could, but not city plans, yeah. Because city plans actually require a pre-built plan. And if it's a custom thing, somebody would have to build uh, a city plan for that location. Eh, dope. Come here, gamers. Oh, sorry, smacking the mic. Hey, yo, gamers. What's good? Let's fucking go. We got some gunners to blast. If I can, if I can, like, get them up there, that would be, that would be prime. That's where I'm going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot them from up there. I ain't going down there. Fuck that. Because then they can get me. And if they get me, that's bad. They've already engaged. Ah, oh, damn it. Now the only thing I have to struggle against is my awful aim. Ow. I got something. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh god. Don't come up here. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. It's a it's a decision you don't want to make. Now, oh, come on. Sorry. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, come on. What the fuck? That 10,000% hit you. Oh, okay. Oh, there's over here now. Oh, what was that? Nope. Oh, come on. Shit. Nope. Yes. Good. Come on. Lamb. Yo. Uh, okie dokie. We did it. Hell yeah. That didn't exactly go. 100% how I would have liked it, but it worked. Yeet. Hit. Oh, there we go. You gonna die, Toshi. Not today. I am powerful. Now I just gotta wait for this to pop up. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to pop up. Crabs. Take out the crabs. There we go. Whoa. Mm, ow. Fuck. Oh god. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Where the fuck did that scorpion come from? Uh, gee whiz. Pick me up. Oh, it's not a scorpion at all, it's that guy. Okay, we good? Okay. God damn it. <laughs> uh, sick of these crabs. Okay, uh, I missed some stuff there. Um, buh, 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 buh. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Okay, cool. Oh, sick. Ah, called it. I didn't die. I just went down. 
And I went back up. Complete uh, station. Oh, missed it again. Oh, we did it. We completed State of War. But there's still a couple of other locations that need recapturing. Started all aboard. Oh, because I got to I got to a spe specific level. Okie dokie. We did it. Hooray. But we still got a couple of other gunner locations to take. Hmm. Ah, Magnuson. Apologies for my sudden absence. There were circumstances beyond my control. I understand you have possession of the holotape you were sent to retrieve. Mm -hmm. Good. Victory is within our grasp. Soon we'll have constructed the supercomputer and shall have control over atomic rain. But first, a brief field trip is in order. Uh, is something wrong? Let's just say I was feeling unwell. Hmm. But it won't be an issue again. I've implemented a number of safeguards. Uh, safeguards? Is this really necessary? I wouldn't be wasting my time if it wasn't. Alright, fair enough. What kind of field trip? Yes, there's information you need to be made aware of. Mm -hmm. Your partner, Jake, is waiting for you at the Museum of Freedom in Concord. Oh, hell yeah. Go over and meet with them as soon as you're able. Once you've arrived, I shall explain further. Goodbye for now. Okay, bye. When it rains. Okay, so let me double check real quick. I'm also rapidly running out for running out of ammo for this bullet or for this gun. Whoopsies. Uh, when it rains, that is that's right there. Okay, so according to the wiki, this is a main quest thing, and it looks like we finished this one, and then uh, it looks like there's a couple more. So here's what we'll do. We'll go and do this. And then we will succeed in many great and beautiful ways. Have you tried the tapes again? I haven't. Let me uh let me jump into the institute and then I'll uh and then I'll try that again. <laughs> Assuming we're not about to crash here, which would be quite disappointing. Cool. We did not crash. I am going to save it, though, because, good God, <laughs> my fucking load order is holding on by well wishes and happy thoughts. Did I save it? Pretty sure I did. Yes, dope. Whoops. Uh, use demon freedom. There we go. Uh, oh shit! I forgot to check the tapes. I'll I'll check it once we load in. Sorry, Sai. Um, Toshi, I think Magnuson is like Mr. House in that he either uploaded himself to a server or is an AI. I don't think so. The 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 Pip Boy icon kind of indicates that he's a he's a full ass grown dude. Of course, that could be a misdirection, but there are probably a number of explanations that we just have not considered yet. Um. Okay, so they were in holotapes and audio log two eight three. It's not working. Let's try the Boylston Club patron records. This is also not working. Unfortunate. But, uh, whoops. Um, that could just be on this save, and I think at this point we have established that my save is probably kaputs. Uh, so, we probably have to test that on a, uh, on a new save. Don't even do that. Why would you try to do that? Hello, insect. Concord settler. Well, that's definitely not accurate. That's not a settler. That's a whole ass bug. Is that a rad roach? It absolutely was. 
Yeah, this is the uh, this is the bug that I've been having popping up. Specifically since I loaded Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 3. I don't know why. I don't think it's related. Because this is apparently a bug that's been going on for years at this point. And it's like a core Bethesda thing. But I'm not sure yeet, why it's happening now. But yeah, some of the settlers are getting turned into roaches. But I think I, I think I know which mod it is. If you paid attention to Magnuson, Magnuson's first try to communicate, it would have given you a clue. Well, I'm not very observant. I don't know if you've noticed that. So that's kind of fucked up that you would say that to me. <laughs> I don't even know how she got knocked over. What the fuck? <laughs> I hate this place. I don't know how to express my emotions. Anyway. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, I think I know what the uh I think I know what the problem with that uh that ro the the roaches are. It says expert now. Me it always said expert. Maybe I'm just dumb. Both are highly possible. Um I remember having that bug a couple years ago. Usually a settler thing. Yeah, I, I think I know which I think I know which mod is uh, is causing it. Um, too bad the club tape. Uh, I did pretty cool. Not sure why though. Yeah, that is really weird. I'll again like I'm. Uh, there's a lot of testing I have to do separate from this. Um, but I will check with that to see if it's working in a uh, in a new game. There you are. Hi, Jake. Got some good news. With Magnuson's help, we deciphered the hollow tip we found in 111. Sick. We can now make more advanced ASAMs. Hell yeah. In fact, I already built one. Okay. Same what do they do? And I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but between you and me, I get a little tired of all this mystery and intrigue. Uh huh. Sure, he's helping us, but I wish Madison would just stop drip feeding us stuff. Just tell us everything we need to know already. So we can get on with things. That is precisely why I asked you to come here. Oh, the doctor. It sounded like Jake said Madison. Oh. Wait, how are you? <laughs> Didn't mean to startle. To make our discussion a bit less cumbersome, I've commandeered what remains of the museum's PA system. Oh. And considering what it is I have to say, I thought this museum an appropriate venue. Now, shall we begin? Yes, please. Uh, listen to me. It also sounded like Jake said Madison there instead of Magnuson. I could have misheard that, but it sounded strange. Um, how did you do that? I'm using your pip boy as a bridge. <gasps> Bounce my radio signal to the museum's intercom system. He's a hacker. Hardly a difficult task when you've intimate knowledge of Robco's UOS. User operating system? That makes sense. Please do. The reason I asked you here is, well... You're dying. There are certain topics I've avoided discussing or have intentionally sidestepped whenever you made mention of them. Mm -hmm. But before we go any further, these topics are things you need to know. And I believe that I... I can now trust you with this knowledge. Right. So, to that end, I shall reveal to you who it is that employs the gunners. This is it. But before that... Damn it! I must explain <laughs> to you about Project Selene and the Ingram tape technology the gunners... Oh, boy. Okay. Project Selene. Uh, okay, so who are the gunners working for? Like this, this card before a horse here. Hmm. I can tell you're eager, and I will tell you. But first, you need an understanding of my project and the Ingram tape technology. Okay, fine. <laughs> it doesn't go away. I just say it over and over. Uh, what can you tell me about this project? Yes. Project Selene. Many saw the end of the world coming, and many made attempts to preserve something of what was. Be that resources, data, people. My attempt was Project Selene. A self-sustained habitat for humanity, built upon the surface of the moon. A lunar colony! Okay. I knew I could do it. I just needed funding so I could develop the technology to pull it off. That's where Robco came in. With their financial support, I successfully developed the tech 
that would guide the construction of the Lunar Colony's complex infrastructure. You're, you're talking about ASAMs, aren't you? So that's what you made them for. That does track. ASAMs. It's with Robco's backing that I was able to create them. Real ASAMs, mind you, not these phony baloney knockoffs you've been using. Did you say the moon? Yes, that's right. The moon. Before you were born, Americans had already set foot on its dusty soil. Correct. Even back then, they knew it offered more than just a celestial nightlight or an out-of-the-way place to store an old flag. It took 83 years, but eventually, the U.S. was ready to stake a claim to start colonizing the moon. Unfortunately, so were the Chinese. <gasps> Kami forces had invaded the lunar surface, but the good old U.S. of A. already had a team waiting for them. My team. Ooh. We called it the Battle in the Sea of Tranquility. <laughs> Hell of a fight. We won, of course, but yeah. it came at a price. My left testicle. The Space Administration had a change of heart. They deemed colonization impractical, too costly. They scrapped the project, covered everything up. That's when I decided to leave the space program, retire from the Air Force. I wasn't ready to give up. So I started Project Selene. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. That also leans on existing uh, lore theory, because the the uh, the big thing that a lot of people are thinking is that the sea of the battle for the Sea of Twan Tranquility happened on the moon because there's a sea, there's a place on there's a spot on the moon called the sea of tranquility and people are speculating like you know who's the who are the people that uh um uh who fought in this war like well one of them is obvious america obviously america who could the other be and it the the theory is either aliens or the chinese and the chinese just makes a whole lot more sense from a uh uh from a lore effort or from a lore standpoint um but very good that was from Nuka World. What the the Vault Tech? Because uh, Vault Tech was talking about colonizing space and stuff, but this is saying that Robco also had plans for it. Uh, the mural you're standing in front of. Exactly. Couldn't let the Chinese control the endless cheese. Exactly. We needed that cheese. Uh, what happened after that? At this point, Armageddon was still at least two decades away. Of course, I didn't know that at the time, but many of us suspected we didn't have long. I moved into the private sector, took whatever research jobs seemed interesting. Cryogenics, plasma-based propulsion, ingramic digitization. See, whatever I don't know what that word means. Useful for Project Selene. Eventually, once I'd compiled enough research, I brought my project proposal to Robco. Okay. Sounds like you were really making a difference. If events had transpired differently, perhaps I could have made a difference. However, before I could even construct a rocket to launch the first payload of ASAMs to the lunar surface, Robco double-crossed me. They cut my funding, took the ASAMs, and kicked me to the curb. Cut adrift, and with time against me, I sought salvation from a devil. Jeff Bezos. In order to salvage Project Selene, I made a deal with Vault Tech. Same difference. They got my project back on track and facilitated the production of the Ingram tapes. Okay. The War on the Moon is mentioned in Nuka World. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, that makes sense then. Um. Uh. So, who are the Gunners working for? I swear to God, tell us. Toshi, have you played Cyberpunk? Johnny is. Oh yeah, that's right. Mem yeah, I kind of figured that that's what uh, the Engram, uh, the Engram tapes were, uh, memory or consciousness transference. I just didn't recognize the the word. Um, it's been a while since I last played Cyberpunk, but that that definitely makes sense. Um, fucking <laughs> just slot me into a holotape and then slide me into a robo brain. I guess I wouldn't be a robo brain. Just like put me in a sentry bot, Robo Toshi. Let's go. Uh. He's been in cryostasis just like uh, the Vault Dwellers. Oh, he has been. Okay. Epic. Little little spoilery there, but good to know. It's kind of kind of figured he would have had to be frozen or in some sort of suspension. Um, 
Okay, so who are the gunners working for? Before I answer that, you need to know about the Ingram tapes. Oh my god. <laughs> Just keep repeating it. Before I answer <laughs> that, you need to know about the... Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Uh, what is the technology? The Ingram tapes were my answer to managing something as sophisticated as my project, Celine. Initially, I tried using computers for the task, but they lacked the ability to solve problems creatively. Mm -hmm. After that, I tried robots, but operating individually, they simply weren't clever enough. And when networked, their personalities became unstable. So in the end, I settled on using an AI. It presented the best option, and lacked the drawbacks of the previous methods. Okay. Hold on, AI? As in, an in artificial intelligence? <laughs> you sure don't have fast things, do you? I needed the best, which is why I constructed the AI using a copy of my own mind. Dun dun dun! It took some time, but everything I am was copied and downloaded to five tapes. These were the Ingram tapes. Hmm, okay, that makes sense. Magnuson is also an Engram. Yep, yep, there it is. Um, that was a robo-brain. That would have made sense, but it also would have seemed a little bit too, like, on the nose, you know? Maybe not on the nose, but, like, you can't see that coming. Uh, the tape from the club is a conversation between a vault tech rep and Magnuson, complete with lounge music. Ooh, that's really cool. I really wish I could have heard that. That sounds, that sounds neat. Um, bro, how did you do that? Thankfully, the technology to copy one's mind was already available. Oh, Not cool. It was easy to come by, but it helps to know the right people. True. Still, the process was experimental and wasn't always gentle to the user. Mm. A number of people had passed away undergoing the procedure. Well, I wasn't feeling quite ready to have my brain fried, so I did what I could to improve the hardware. And I'm pleased to say I did a rather good job. Very good. So, my brain was copied. Most people's Ingrams fit into a single tape. Those performing the procedure thought mine might fit into two. <laughs> I said at least four. <laughs> but in the end, it was five. It seems at times even I underestimate the utter brilliance of my mind. All right, just a little, 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 we're getting a little self-aggrandizing here. Uh, so what? That was a little full of himself. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm impressed. My goal is not to impress, but to clarify just how important these tapes are. How valuable they'd be to someone like the gunner's employer. Mm -hmm. You see, collectively, the Ingram tapes hold the total sum of my experiences, knowledge, and personality. They're a virtual treasure trove of information. And as if that were not enough... The tapes are also the key to the operation of Project Selene. Valentine went through the same process. I suppose that does make sense. Because he's the he's a copy of uh Nick is a copy of old Nick Valentine's mind and memories and everything. So it would make sense that there would be a technology like that available that Magnuson would be able to capitalize on. Got it. Hell yeah. Uh, who are the gunners? Okay, who are the gunners working for? It's gonna be Vault Tech, I swear to God. Would it surprise you to learn that you've already met them? They're the ones who came to my rescue when Robco stabbed me in the back. Yep, Vault Tech. They offered you and your family the chance to survive nuclear annihilation. Vault Tech. Yes. That's right. Aliens. The gunners, they work for Vault Tech. My god. Dun 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 dun. No. No. That's not possible. Of course it's possible. Oh, okay. Or had you naively thought Vault Tech gone, believed they had simply laid back and allowed themselves to be destroyed when the bombs fell. But Vault Tech, how, how is that even? I mean, where have they been all this time? I never seen them around anywhere. How could they have survived? You want to know where Vault Tech is? 
Look to the memorial in front of you. Or better yet, just look up at the night sky. Vault Tech provided me everything I needed to bring Project Selene to fruition. Also that they could snatch it away for themselves. Very rude. So, for two whole centuries, Vault Tech have been hiding themselves away, safe and sound, in my lunar colony. Oh. There was an actual they actually built the colony. Uh, okay. Vault Tech's on the moon. Didn't see that coming. Funny though. Uh how do you know this? Vault Tech approached me claiming they wanted their own version of ASAM technology and promised to fund Project Selene in exchange. This was all under the table, mind you. Officially speaking, Vault Tech knew nothing of my project. But Madison, the one who arranged it all, she knew. She knew everything I was doing. I trusted her, and she used that trust to hijack my project. <laughs> But they didn't hijack everything. My time with Robco taught me valuable lessons. This time, I ensured certain avenues remained open to me. Even without the comm hub, I was able to at least somewhat monitor Luna Colony. Was able to see what those bastards were up to. Who runs Vault Tech, though? The Enclave? <laughs> it all just cycles back to the Enclave. Hell, it would be funny to see Maxon as a robo-brain in Fallout 4. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> uh, uh, it's so well written. Even Nuka World uh, had the space theme park with all of Moon colonization projects. It did. Like, I mean, fucking... Uh, uh, Sim Settlements, the Sim Settlements 2 team, they fucking know their shit. They're, they're up on the, on the history and the lore and stuff. They don't, they don't fucking write shit randomly. I mean, it's gonna be real funny to see the first person to, uh, to to start popping off. And be all like, this doesn't make any sense. Vault Tech doesn't. It doesn't make sense that Vault Tech would be on the moon and they'd be funding the gutters. None of this makes sense. This isn't lore. Like it is. This all fits perfectly. Uh, why are you just? Why are you only just telling me about this now? Because I didn't know if I could trust you. Or how you'd react when you learned the truth. And, to be quite blunt, until now you didn't really need to know. There are times that certain knowledge only serves to muddy the waters. Hmm. Fair. <laughs> I guess it does make sense. I appreciate you being receptive. Thank you. It'll make what's to come less difficult. Uh-oh. Okay, I can accept that the gunners are working for Vault Tech. But back in 111, you said the gunners were hired to locate, secure, and then deliver Engram tapes to their employer. Now, I know you said they're important, but there's gotta be more to it. If Alltech already has a whole lunar colony, why are they making the gunners tear apart the Commonwealth? In order to find a bunch of tapes? Because Luna Colony needs the Ingram tapes in order to function. Without Makes sense. tapes to regulate and sustain its systems, the colony is on the brink of catastrophic system failure. Ooh. I'll admit, I'm at a loss as to how vault has kept things running for as long as they have, but their time is up. Luna Colony has begun its collapse. Uh-oh. And without the means to return to Earth, if Luna Colony perishes, so will vault -Tec. That is why they are so eager to acquire those tapes. Okay. We're going to the moon? I don't think so, but it'd be really fucking cool if we did. Uh, how do we know what their goals are? I've been able to tap into communications from both vault Tech and the Gunners for quite some time now. And whilst I don't overhear everything, I've heard enough to piece the situation together. Uh, why can't they just leave? They don't got rockets. They can't leave, because I didn't design Luna Colony with the means to do so. Oh. It was intended to be a one-way trip, and huh. evidently... Vault Tech didn't bring anyone with them who possesses enough brain cells to construct their own means of escape. Hilarious. Bet they regret leaving me behind now. <laughs> um, uh, that's a lot to pro. That's like, yeah, that is a lot to process. I know you and Vault Tech have history, Doc, but are they really our enemy? I mean, it's been the Gunners who've. The Gunners are following orders from Vault Tech. 
Ultimately, Vault-Tec are responsible for this war, and make no mistake, they are your enemy. <sighs> Listen, the reason I've told you all this is not to scare you, but so you can fully comprehend what you're up against. Gotcha. You become a potent hindrance to the Gunners and their employer. Oh, jeez. The Gunners have already located four of the Ingram tapes, and if you thought this war you found yourself in was bad now, if vault get their hands on all five tapes, they'll have all they need to ensure you never hinder them again. Uh-uh. That is why it's imperative we use atomic rain as soon as we can. Wipe the Gunners out before they have a chance to fulfill their contract. It's the only way to guarantee the safety of yourself and the Commonwealth. Okay. One step at a time, Doc. I'm only just getting my bearings here. I realize I've thrown a lot of information at you, but time is a luxury we lack. The moment for us to strike is now. For the sake of everyone, we must bring this crisis to an end. Don't, don't worry, Doc. I, we hear you. When it comes to ending this war, we're all on the same page. We've spoken long enough. It's time for you to move out. Okay, what do we do next? Proceed to the USAF station where you found the comm hub. And then I'll direct you in the assembly of the supercomputer. Magnuson out. Huh. Guess that's the history lesson over with. Still, Vault Tech. <laughs> Did not see that coming. But it does kind of make sense, if it's true. What do you think? What next? <laughs> it all sounds, everything Madison said does seem to add up. Could be everything you said was 100% sincere. Or it might just be a master of deception. A little, little column A, little column B. Uh, I don't trust him. Uh, I, it doesn't strike me as the, as the dishonest. Anyway, looks like Magnuson wants us to go to Olivia. Come on, let's go get this computer built. Lead on and I'll follow. I think it would be really fucking cool um, if in whatever Fallout project comes out next, you know, like actual like mainline Fallout project, Fallout 5, Sim Settlements, or not Sim Settlements 2, uh, you know, New Vegas 2, what have you, and, and whatever the next big Fallout project is going to be. I think it would be really cool is if in some small way uh they recognized um uh they recognized or made reference to uh the events of uh Sim Settlements 2. I think that would be really cool, especially since the game or since the mod itself is uh so lore friendly. Uh and so whoops, there's raiders here. Well, that was a bad choice. Whoop! Whoa, okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. <clears throat> it should definitely employ SS on the new, uh, on the new lore for sure. It would be, it would be a very cool nod. A very cool inclusion. Um... Uh, Shadow Man, are you still in the, uh, are you still in the chat? How long, uh, how long, uh, will it take to finish up this, uh, this, uh, this mission? Uh, first of all, they should fire, uh, dudes who wrote base Fallout 4. Not all of them. Not all of them. Just whoever was in charge of the, uh, the main quest. Because the main quest was not very good at all. But a lot of the side quest stuff, very good. Like the whole stuff with, uh... The whole stuff with dance. Um, oh gosh, there there was there was a couple of other ones that were really good. Um, the stuff with, um, fuck, what is it? That uh, that that ghoul at uh, at the slog that wanted us to get those horse uh, components. Oh god damn it! <laughs> ah, that's bullshit. Um, but yeah, there 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 are uh, there are a number of very well written. Um, uh, very well written side quests for the game. Far, <laughs> far harbor. 
Bob Habits, right? And it was way better. It was wicked awesome. No, yeah. Far Harbor, whoever whoever was in charge of uh, the main story with Far Harbor definitely should be put in, uh, put in charge of uh, Fallout 5. Or whatever the next big project is, because, like, that shit was real good. That shit was preem. That was supreme shit. Mm. Really enjoyed it. But Sim Settlements 2, I'm also very much enjoying. Hmm. Alright, let's jump over to here again. And hopefully this time we will not get exploded into many, many tiny, small, and itty-bitty pieces. Living in fantasy utopia. Real. <laughs> Real and huge and true and other adjectives that mean good things. I need to turn you off, but I don't want to because I don't want to die again. Get him, Jake. Fuck him up! I'm gonna shoot you. Whoop! Oh, God. Hello. Here. Mm. Not a lot of fucking critters showed up real quick, like. And somebody's got a fucking flamethrower. Whoops! Ow. Excuse me. You could not do that. God damn. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Err, uh, TGM. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, those flamethrowers are too fucking overpowered. I might, I might unironically, because I, I forget what the name of the mod is, but there's a mod that adds a, uh, a really unique and really cool looking flamethrower. Um... To the game. Um, but they're just so... They're so fucking overpowered. <laughs> oh, God. Everything went wrong there. I was running up to the tower hoping I could get a get a vantage point. There's dogs coming down. There's fucking mole rats coming up. And then that dude with the fucking flamethrower shows up. And I'm like, well, this is it. This is game over right here. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. I've had nightmares that went like that. Like it like it's like huge. Real. <laughs> Some real shit. Oh god. But that flamethrower is just way too powerful. I don't I don't think it's the stats that make it powerful. I think it's just the um uh like just the the flame effect that it has on it. Oops. Kill the flies. Where are it? Where are you? Where's that flamer unit? You're around here somewhere. It doesn't got ambush at all. It's frontal attack. I just don't know where you guys are. That's Jake. Oh my god, where are these people? Here we go. Back door. Over here. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Now you're dead. Now I don't need TGM. Fuck the the mole the the mole rats. Kill them, Jake. Kill them. Kill them all. Whoa! Oh fuck you! <laughs> oh you piece of shit, mole rat. I think this is uh. I think this is I think this is the crash point too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. In vanilla, flamethrowers deal energy damage. Fire is an energy type, says Avatar. <laughs> True. Oh my god. Alright. Well, I feel like uh I feel like this is uh this is officially crashed right now. Which is disappointing because this would have made the second stream in a row where we would have had to end on a crash. Um but I have to uh uh, I have to start wrapping up the stream here because I should have I should have stopped at three, but uh, 
wanted to wanted to try to finish this quest up, but looks like we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to finish it first thing in the next stream. Um, uh, mods can change it to flame. My chemistry the chemistry teacher agreed so much that it must be true. <laughs> Um, but yes, this is, uh, this seems like it's where we're going to have to leave the mod, uh, or today's stream for now. Um, I want to thank everybody once again for showing up. You guys have all been, uh, super supportive, making this, uh, making this stream super successful. Uh, thank you all for liking, subscribing, commenting, watching the video, just, you know, hanging out. Uh, it's been super fun. Um, I would, I would try to push this a little further. Uh, try to at the very least finish up this quest and then we can pick it up uh, again tomorrow and 110% finish up the uh, finish up Sim Settlements 2 uh, Chapter 3 tomorrow, Friday is going to happen. Hell or high water is going to happen. Um, but uh, for now, I thank you all so much for watching. Uh, again, like, comment, share, subscribe. Check the description. Uh, it's got a link to Sim Settlements 2 uh, chapter three, which also includes all of the other mods or also includes the entire rest of the game. Um, and we will be back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific standard time. Uh, the description also includes all of my socials, Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, um, uh, TikTok, all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> apparently Twitch isn't going to work anymore because those of you who have been here for the entire stream, uh, were here when I realized that I actually got suspended indefinitely on Twitch for botting apparently so i don't know what's going on there uh so that that link might just be broken for now um but again for the meantime thank you all so much for watching uh we will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific standard time and we will finish up uh sim settlements 2 chapter 3 it's gonna happen for now though one final time i thank you all so much for watching uh, I hope you have a good day. I look forward to seeing you all here uh, tomorrow so we can finish up the, uh, the chapter. And until then, I will see you all out there in the wasteland. Bye!